All right. Hello and welcome to Drunken Dragon Gaming, where the drinks are cold, the meals are warm, and the games are on fire. Today we're picking up back on Enshrouded, trying to get some more stuff done, and we got Valk hanging out with us. One of the first things we're going to do, we're going to go get some new blocks to be able to build this uh, in a sun temple. Did a little bit of research last night and uh, found out where one set of blocks was that I haven't gotten yet. Uh, so uh, we're going to go get those. All right. All right. And now we are live and we got Valk logged, logged in with us. What level is that chest plate you're wearing? It is level 25. Okay. It's the Radiant um, Paladin chest plate. Yeah. Um, double checking. I had another big chest plate. Uh, oh, you got the Shield of Light in here, which is level 23. That'd be good for you. Uh, Which, I've got that one, yes. Okay. And then there's the Gloom Monarch uh, chest plate. Um, but it's level 23, so it's got a 104 physical resistance and a 52 magical resistance. But it gives you extra health and mana. So I don't know how it compares to what you're currently wearing. I think the only thing mine is it's the weapons. So, okay. Then let's, uh... <coughs> need to grill some, need to grill some wolf meat. Alright, what do I got in my backpack? Oh, I got plenty. Alright. Time. Nice. Need a hand? All right, that'll be for you. There's those. Hey. And then let's make those. All right. I got I got food for you. Let's okay, see. thank you. Give this to you. Uh give this to you. And Give this to you. There you go. Thank you so much. I should have you some decent foods. I gotta put a couple things away. Yeah, like I was telling chat, one of the first things I want to do is go down to that sun temple and see if we can't find the blocks. Uh, let's make sure I've got food. Yes, I'm good. All right. We're going to eat some chicken soup. We're going to eat some stir-fried vegetables. And then we're going to have one of the spiced teas. All right. 
rested bonuses up there. All right, I think I'm in good shape. You think you've got everything you need? You got any, heal you got any healing potions yeah. on you? Yeah, but uh, I'm able to. Well, I'm just making I'm just making sure you have some. Yeah, I got two and one and some bandages anyway. Okay. You got any clean bandages? Uh, I don't know what bandages these are. Uh, no, just standard bandages. Okay. If you look in this box here, I have a stack of 20 cleaned bandages. Go ahead and take those. <coughs> They'll work better for you. It is Valk. And how you doing, Picks and Frostbite? All right, here we go. This is our best fast travel spot for this. Carefully. Okay. Yep, I see it right down there. All right, you ready? Yep. Lead the way. Hey, Mustafa, what's going on? Of mine is that sulfur. Okay. So we're working on, uh, all right, Frostbite, we're working on getting up to the Sun Temple that's up here. Watch your back, you've got two scorpions. Yeah, how do you like this? Check this out, Valk. You might want to bandage up. Yeah, I have a cool little trick that I can do now. So, when I go up in the air, I can aim my boat and I float. 
So basically you turn into the version of an avatar. Yeah, I want the uh, sand digger meat out of him. I use that for uh, one of the meals. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just carry the stuff like I normally do. <laughs> Pack mule. Yeah, so, uh, whoa, look out. I'm glad I turned around. Oh yes. Nice. Get some more metal scrap out of here. That's more sulfur.
All right. Here we are. This is the Sun Temple. Never been to this one. Oh, this is the entrance. This is all new. Well, not new in the game, new to me. So I don't even know what to expect to find in here. Undead. I'm just checking for any kind of secret doors. Yeah, well, because I pressed the button there, so where did that lead to? Don't know. Oh, what was in the box? Oh, okay. Some arrows and. What's the other bit? Uh, an experience scroll. Okay, cool. You may as well go ahead and read the experience scroll because it won't do anything for me. Oh, that's interesting. So that tag's not there. Oh. Okay. So that did the first one for this building. Oh, right, okay, so there's... Two more buildings over here. Yeah, I
wish to summon. Okay. That should be the second one, I would have thought. Yep. That's new. Yeah, uh, look above your head as well. Oh my. Hang on, there's a button there. Right, so that opens Oh, up it shows us it shows us the path. Fancy stuff have you got? Oh, nice. Uh, boots. Boots and a shield of light. Another one. Yep. Okay. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, there's uh, spare columns on each side. Ah, here we go. Yeah. That's it, right there. I don't need this. This guy. Yeah. Desert temple blocks. Yep. Ooh, another spark. How many did it give? Four. Okay. Nice. <coughs> well, that got us the uh, the new building blocks. Oh, but what is that up there? Is there a way upstairs any higher? Doesn't look like it. I did, and there's nothing interesting in it. No, I'm glad to fell down then. <laughs> yeah, there's absolutely nothing in here. Oh, well, while we're here. Oh yeah, I'm ahead of you now. Yeah. 
top. Alright, double checking my map. Where am I? Okay, yes, we are heading in the right direction. Ooh, I spotted an ant. I didn't want to waste my lockpick on that. Yeah, there's nothing in that house. I think the explosion might give it away. Where's the guy with the green... Blades. Oh, he's right. Aha! Uh -huh. He's walking over across the bridge, you know. Is that the one? Nope. That's the guy with the mortar. Almost got that guy. Yeah, there's another big guy as well there. You can't see him, he's a bit further around. Oh, I found the one with the green blades, you're after. He's inside the house, just directly in front of you. Do you want me to pull him out? You can. You can do your well, you you can bite him, but I mean he's nasty. Cause he'll be level thirty. Yeah, there's two of them. Yep, I see him. And you're still alive. Somehow. 
There's another guy inside with a uh, thing I need to kill. Yep, I see him. He's gonna be easy. Yeah. All sorted. I want the metal scraps out of these guys because we've we've completely ran out of metal scraps. Oh yeah, you'll find good stuff here. It's called the Extinguished Sword. It's quite fancy. Where are you? Watch out! We got company! That one's done. All right, I think that took care of everybody on this side except for that guy. Behind the tent, I can't uh, can't do anything with him. Ah, he had some some uh, loot on him this time. There you are. That chest usually has something nice in it. Uh, Ted Bow, level 25, 35 power. Alright, give me a second here. Oh damn, she's actually taking the bridge this time. Yeah, she hits hard. Yeah, I just found that out the hard way. <laughs> Especially with the killer dogs.
Oh, I didn't see him. Okay. Now we'll pick you back up. I appreciate it. <laughs> I wasn't doing too bad until the uh, bombs hit me, and then I was just like, oh. <laughs> now, hold on a second, I'm going to do something fun. Get his attention. Stay back here. Because they're stupid. There he goes. Oh, no, he learned how to use the bridge. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you want to come on the roof here? And I'll do it in down there. said two on the roof? Would you find up on the roof? No, no, it's because I do you want to sit on the roof and I'll drag him out. I'm ah. just going to break these uh, cages and get the uh, scrap from it. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can't tell what color that is. Oh, I think that's the opposite of Lazuli. See what we get in the box. Oh no, there's another one. Another what? My trip. Yeah. Trying to grab her attention. What I'll do is I'll grab their attention and then run down here, and they'll all run into the uh, lava. Let me grab her attention. Okay, here she comes. Come on down, run across the bridge. Oh! Yep, like I said, just run across the bridge and she will 
jump into the lava. Don't let her fall you. Because you want to get her in position so that she will... Or she can just stand there. You do range kill. Oh, we got junk this time. Man. What, from the, uh, the chest? Yeah. Let's say I got... What did I just <coughs> Well, this is the, the place... Go on. So this is the place where I got you that breastplate you're wearing. Oh, nice. I'm going to say in my bag, I just picked up, um... Club of the Defense, which is a, a melee weapon. Obviously, her scavenger matron head. Yep. The eagle eye gloves. Oh! Oh, now those I could use. You want them? Yes, yeah, those here. those go with my set. Hey, you're a little too far. Hang on, stop diving around. <laughs> uh. Sweet. Yep. Um, what else did I pick up? Yep. So now if I look at my character, what am I currently wearing? I'm wearing the Deer Stalker. It's 20 and 20. And then we look at this. 22 and 22. Nice. Plus 12% range damage. And this does... Okay. Nice. Now I got a now now I got a glowy arm to go with my glowy chest. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well yeah. we can we can fly back home now. Hey, Gen X, what's going on? So we were a little focused there. And you got to see new, some new stuff. That you hadn't been to yet, well. Oh, I definitely. Yeah, it looked like you gained a level too. I gained two doing that. <laughs> I went from twenty to twenty-three. Okay. Twenty-one to twenty-three. Sorry. <laughs> All I know is I need to definitely em em bleh, empty the inventory. Oh yeah, yeah. My inventory is getting very, very full. I think I've got one slot free. That's it. <laughs> but now I've got the Desert Temple block, which is what I'm going to redo the exterior of the warehouse with. Yeah. And we got a nice 50, yeah, 50 of the metal scraps. Yep. So I got to go get, I got to go get a whole bunch of sandstone. Nice. I didn't even see that I got this. I'll have to give that to uh, McSire. Hopeful Glimmer. 
It's a very nice staff. It's a little 25 staff. And it's purple, so he'll be able to upgrade it. Oh yeah, that guy's a real nice pile of uh, metal scrap. Yeah. Because we got 112, because the, the, between the two of us, we brought back quite a bit. But I need to go plant some indigo then, because the desert, the desert block is a, a bit on the pricey side. And we're gonna need a bunch of it. I'm struggling definitely to find where you put bones. Bones? Bones are all the way down here. Oh, in the end one. Yep. Because bones get used for more than just bone meal now. Yeah. And we collect tons of it uh, when we're doing the uh, Hallowed Hall. Now, the second Hallowed Hall, when I played and I ran through it, um, it took me, uh, I think it took close to like an hour and a half to two hours to run through the whole thing. So it was definitely a, an interesting place to go through. Oh, absolutely. And deadly. But it's one of those where I wouldn't mind going to the end and fighting that Cyclops again because I want his head so I can mount it. But for now, I'm going to work on getting some sandstone and some indigo. So I need to go plant the indigo. So I need to take a look and see what it takes to make indigo. Oh, I've got some sandstone on me. Okay, we'll just throw it in the uh, in the stone box. Yeah. <coughs> I when I was like, it hasn't transferred out. Must not have none. There might not be any in there, which is why I wouldn't transfer out. Yeah. Got some in there now, anyway. And you've got your iron pickaxe and your iron axe and all that good stuff, I think, right? Uh, no, I've got a bronze. Oh. I've got an iron axe, but I've got a bronze pick. Okay, go talk to the uh, smith and have him make like, have him make you one. I think I've got one piece of hardwood left. Or I might be completely out, I'm not sure. Yeah, you're out. Oh, okay. That's all right. Bronze picks up there, it's just the next one down anyway. Well, if we go into the hollow halls, um, I take a minimum of three pickaxes with me. Because of how much stuff we mine up down there. The ectoplasm and the bones. Because, yes, we actually mine the bones. There's like giant hills of bones, and you take a pickaxe to them to collect the bones. Okay. I'm not going to be ready to head there just yet, because like I said, I want to get the uh, indigo going. So I need another plot. Hey, lady. Need a hand? I need another seed bed, please. Or six. Oh, 
Oh, and if stuff's in your uh, hot bar, it won't transfer into the chest either. Keep that in mind. There we go. The whole back row is seed beds now. And change this to indigo. Okay. So we're going to go scoop the water. Get us 60 pieces of water. And we'll throw that into the indigo box. Oh, it's a lie. I have got an iron pickaxe. Oh. In my inventory. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Stack of that. that in there along with half of this all right now huh I not have that's the wheat seeds all right gonna need to plant some more wheat too that's full of a bunch of seedlings okay let's check the boxes over here Go. 
Yeah. Okay. Yep, no indigo whatsoever. Gonna have to go find some. Let's see, I think indigo is in the Nomad Highlands. I think. Or is it? I thought that was in the, like the, uh, the desert TV. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's either the Nomad Highlands or it's over in the Revelwood. I thought I remember seeing Indigo near the farmer's vault. Oh. All right, let's try this one first. We'll take a look. Is it Rebelwood? Yeah, Rebelwood. Okay. Oh, and that is Deadly Shroud. So, no going through there. In this one? Nope. Okay. Cool. Uh, you might want to go where I'm at so you can grab the skill point. Figure since I'm here, we'll grab it. Yep, I've killed everything in here, so now it's just a matter of chopping the thing down. Still running to it. Oh, you shouldn't be running to me. You should have teleported over to the uh, Age of Spire Nomad Highlands. Now that's going to take you a long time to run over here.
<laughs> oh jeez, this guy has a shield. <coughs> oh goodness. <coughs> Sorry, don't mean to be coughing in your ear like that. Check the map and see where Sh see where Balk is. You're still trying to run? Why didn't you teleport? Which which one you signed to go from? You should go to the ancient spire, Nomad Highlands. Ah. Oh man, I got something stuck in the back of my throat. That guy's probably respawned by now. Nope. Okay. There he is. There he is. I just figured you'd like to have the uh, skill point off of him. What kind of mine is this? Ooh, this is a copper mine. Nice. I have to remember that. I'm sure we've, well, we did have a, uh, a flame on a copper mine, didn't we, at one stage? Oh, I've had to move a bunch of flames. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna fly back over to Rebel Woods. That way I can go run around the woods and grab that indigo. Strawberries, lots of strawberries. Oh, there's some indigo. Surrounded by spinning flowers. There we go. I'd like to have more than just one, but I can work with just one. Here we go.
Oh. And while I'm thinking about it, I should jump down a couple of these trees. Because these green ones, if I remember correctly, yes. So we'll have to make some of these back home so we can plant them. Well, I managed to find two pieces of indigo. Yeah, I've managed to get one. Don't see any on there. Oh. How many indigo do you roughly need? Oh, I'm going to need so much of it. I just need enough to be able to plant. Right. Well, I've just found a small area of unloading. I've just picked up seven. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I think we can go back to the house and we'll drop all those into the seed bed. Alright. And I'll just plant and grow the indigo because I've got that nice farm field down there at the house, so... for that. That's for aloe. Here we go. Indigo. Whoa! The indigo takes forever to run. Oh my goodness. Ten minutes per. Jeez. That's... That's going to take a hot minute. Because two pieces of indigo per hundred blocks. And I'm going to need at least 2,000 blocks. So that's uh, 200. Well, that's 20 worth. So 20. So 40 pieces of indigo is what I'm in need of. Now, granted, each indigo plant will give us five seedlings, but it takes ten minutes per five seedlings. So that's going to be a little bit. And I've got 16 now. Oh, jeez. Okay. I've just found a small area where it's all in, so... That's handy. Take a quick second, grow smoke. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm just teleporting back now anyway. I mean, I want to take a look at what it takes to make the uh, green, the Revelwood green trees. Because those are the ones that give us the hardwood. Um, if you walk by the seed bed, you'll see one that's actually kind of has an animation going on it. Um, also, you'll see it has a timer. You'll see the timer. That'll be the seed bed to put the indigo into. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. It's <laughs> so at the back of the house. Ah, got it. Yeah, so that's 18, so that's 180 minutes. Uh, two hours, 57 <coughs> minutes. Yeah. Well, just shy of three hours, sorry. <laughs> right. So as well as going, okay, well, that's going to be a while. We'll go find something else to do while that thing's doing its thing. Any uh, forest beets? Forest beets, yeah. And I got forest beets growing right here. All right, it's just I've managed to get two more. Oh yeah, so inside the house. Inside here. Yep, I, I have a veggies box. These two are for raw veggies. All right, okay, brilliant. Oh, and I need to go into my inventory again. And we've got raw meat, so this can go in there. That can go in there. All that can go in there. And cooked foods. That can go in there. I'm gonna have to make some more arrows. Oh, a greater skull summoning vessel. That's cool. That's new. Let's destroy these. put some stuff away Hardwood in the wood box. Nope, still short on shroud cores. My Which one was the one that you were saying that you were going to try and grow the trees? Uh, the green rebel wood. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Yep, those go as hardwood. Okay. Throw that in there. That's going to take just shy of 50 minutes. 
Yeah, well, I mean, we gotta chop down some trees to make space, so. I was kind of thinking that open area that doesn't have any trees growing in it over next to your house. Open area next to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put those in there for now. Okay. Inventory is starting to get cleaned up. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Well, he might like to have that, so. Throw it in the equipment box just in case. Give this just a second. Oh, chat, hope you all are having a great day. Wow, nine likes. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Indigo is going to take a while. Trees are going to take a little while. Got a lot of things that are not letting their textures. Used up most of the bones. Yeah, a lot of textures aren't loading. Yeah, 
Wow, look at all the bones we used. Jeez. So, yeah, we're going to go mine up some more bones. All the textures are loading in here, except for that chair. The chair looks like Play-Doh. <laughs> you have a bone to pickle me. Try something real quick, chat. Let's uh, adjust. There we go. That's got the textures reloaded. I ran out of them. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This room looks much better now. I haven't quite ran out of them. I still got like 90. Out of the, what, 500 that I had? Give Valk a second to come back, and then uh, I think we'll take him into the hollowed hall because I mean, we're gonna need to go mine up some more bones and stuff, anyways. So, no. Oh. Oh, getting the boots off. That's much better. Uh, much, much better. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to be waiting on that indigo, and then we're going to use half of it to make more indigo, so that's going to be a long process. So it's going to be a little while before uh, before we can do the exterior here. However, oh, there is a however, though. We could check this out to get an idea of how this is going to look.
Oh, I do like that. Yeah, that is very nice. There we go. Yeah, I like the look of that. That. I think that looks really nice. <coughs> Heck, that'll be a build block that uh, Tundra might be interested in for his build. I'm not sure. But looking at how he's building his place... This could absolutely be an option. But again, expensive. Lots of indigo. So we'll go ahead and... Oops. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks much nicer, and then we'll do the exterior with that kind of material, and it'll really get that, that uh, bank vault type look to it. I like it. And let me double check something. So I message her. Oh, nope, she is completely offline, so okay. You know, with those braziers and then got those colonnades. I don't know, we might want to look at some alternate roof pieces. Oh, we don't have much in the way of roof pieces. That's got the. Might go with the tarred shingle. No, not plant fiber, not straw. Tarred straw could be interesting. Um, right now, I think it's got... What kind of roof block is that? Well, it's not tarred. I don't want to remove it and then not be able to put it back. Well, it's tarred. Okay.
It doesn't look tarred. I, I would expect it to be a bit darker. All right, well, while I'm thinking about this, let's uh, get one of these seed beds. This one's not set. All right. Did I already have some of those? Mm, no. Okay. Oh, look at this. Get all this lined up. Can't believe that I had that sitting in there. Hey, Casper. How are you today? Good to see you. Skip to space.
<coughs> oh goodness. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, man. Got stuff stuck in my throat. Oh. Sorry, circle flower. Hey, Vault, welcome back. <coughs> you want to see something nuts? See all that stuff that I just planted? Over here? Yeah. It's all indigo. Ooh. I was checking another seed bed because I was going to be setting something else up, and that seed bed was already set up for indigo, and it had 188 seedlings sitting in it. <laughs> well, 30 of the Greenwoods uh, tree saplings are down as well. Okay. Out of however many oh. it was making. This is the one that I wanted. Here we go. Let's see, that's 200. That's only going to take six and a half hours. 20 minutes per. Oh my goodness. Wheat takes a while. Uh, we've got the bone meal, so let's uh, go ahead and get a couple of those set up. That's already got a bunch of seedlings, so we're not going to worry about it right now. We got lots of beet seedlings, so we're not going to worry about making any more of those right now. Uh, berries. All right, yes. So that's good. That'll make a hundred of the berry plants. Bell peppers. Corn. Aloe. Uh, we don't need any more of those. This can be gone to a different recipe. So we've got wheat growing elsewhere. Oh, I need sugar tane seedlings. That would be good. Let's see. That machine over there is so for flax. that going. That way it's all nice and confusing because it looks, <laughs> yeah, grow the sage right next to the indigo so the two plants look almost identical. Yeah. Alright, that's got most of the seed beds running and doing stuff. Except for this one. So we can just go ahead and throw that in there.
So there's a magic box inside the uh, farmer's cottage vault that's really designed to just hold water. Two seconds, I'll be back. Okay. That's got all the seed beds running and doing their thing. All right, now it's gonna be time to pick this thing clean. That gives me 30. Alright. That's what I figured. We need to go talk to this guy. That machine running now. Check an inventory. We'll see if that's going to be enough. I'm not sure it is. Oh, I don't want to do this in the dark. I can't see. Thank you. You requested daylight, you get daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the soil that grows faster? Yep. Or slightly faster. 
Yep, this is the fertilized soil. so we're not going to waste it on those little corners. That was all the fertilized farm soil I could make. Now I got a what machine. Are you missing to make up? Nitrate. Uh, and you're gonna make. I got. For you. I got nitrate being made over in the uh, alchemy lab. Yeah. Well, you know, because I know you haven't gotten to check one out yet. Do you want to go check out one of the uh, hallowed halls? Um, I can do. I've got ten minutes until I've got food. But oh, okay. And then I'll be free completely as well. So. All right. We'll we'll wait until after you get your food. Because food's important. Ah. Oh. Easy with the time difference as well, yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's now gone back to the five hours difference. Yeah, I think it's five hours difference. It's four o'clock here. Or about yeah, to be four o'clock. Yeah, it's just come up to nine here. Yeah, so I've dotted some of these... Uh, the hardwood trees that you wanted around. Most okay. of them are in, in the gap where you asked. Okay. They're cut by your, um, your wells and that here by the farm. There's a couple in the left hand side by your house. Okay. But the majority of them are all over there. There's still loads being made as well, so we can just constantly recycle them. Did you see the hobbit hole? I have, no, I've heard about this where somebody was going to build, was it Doomy or somebody was going to yeah. build a bug? Yeah, Doomy's gonna build it on top of it. Where is this hobby hole? Uh, it's to the. Uh, let's see. If you're looking at my house, yeah. Then look to the left and head straight. Head straight. Oh, I found it. Like I said, hobbit hole. So, other than the blocks that we unlock with the uh, hallowed halls, I have all of the building blocks unlocked now. <coughs> oh, and you remember that box that had all those bones in it? Yes. Yeah, it's almost empty. Yeah, there's less than a hundred bones left. Well, I needed arrows in case we were going to the uh, Hallowed Halls. Because those bone arrows do extra damage against the hollow. For the hollow. That's what they refer to as the as the undead in this game. 
They, they call them the, the hollow. Just reminds me of the uh, the film, The Sleepy Hollow. Oh, right. Uh oh, Bill's losing his dragon's bruise. All right. No, that's detailed. Okay, good. Yeah, do you like my wisp wyvern head that I put outside the uh, warehouse? Yeah, I was wondering what that was. Looks like a dragon to me. Yep, yeah, that's that wisp wyvern that we fought. Oh, God, is this the one where we ended up uh -huh. um, fighting it for God knows how long? <laughs> yep. We worked out how to kill it. Yeah. Yep, I went, back, I, I went back and killed it again so I could mount its head. Yeah, that's the one from... Pike's re uh, Pike Speed Reach. The yeah. yeah. The, the sad thing is, you need another one for the opposite side to make it match now. Oh, I'm not going to make it match. I got something else that's going to go on that side. Uh, we'll get it out of the uh, second hollow. Uh, hallowed, uh, hallowed Hall. Oh, that's right. I got practically no sandstone. That's what I was doing. I need to go mine up sandstone. Remove that waypoint. Uh, let's see. Best place to go grab some sandstone. Let's see. It was where we were, just over in the... Uh, oh, God. That's it. I'll just go here to the Kindle Wastes. Yeah, I think it was there. So I'm gonna need a lot of this. Now the question is, what do you mean by a lot? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm guessing a few thousand. Yeah, I mean, two or three thousand should get us by. Because it's 20 sandstone per 100 blocks. I'm just guesstimating, but I think I'm going to need at least 1,500 to do the build that I'm thinking about. Yeah, make sure to drink that tea that I gave you because it gives you a whole lot of extra stamina.
digging a big old hole in here. Basically grabbing what I can until my pickaxes break. Say you wanted a thousand five hundred sandstone or fifteen thousand sandstone? Uh, probably around three thousand. Three thousand. I've got about five hundred on me right now. Back in a second. Just getting the food out. Yeah, no problem, man. Takes time, and we're literally just mining up basic uh, dirt right now, so it's not exactly anything exciting.
Welcome back, Frostbite. That ten likes, nice. Yeah, right now I'm digging a hole. That uh, reminds me, I gotta mine up a bunch of flint too. You know, over by Tundra's place, we got that whole wall of flint, so. <laughs> Absolutely. So, what I'm doing, though, is, uh, while you were gone, we uh, unlocked another building block. It's a little pricey, but I really like it. It's the Desert Temple block. So, we now have all the blocks unlocked, except for the uh, few that we can pick up in the Hallowed Halls. Along with the different crafting recipes. But it requires sandstone and indigo. And I didn't have any indigo. And then I realized I didn't have any more sandstone. So the plan is that that brick facade that we have on the warehouse. I'm going to redo with the uh, Desert Temple uh, blocks. So it's literally just coming over here to dig up a whole bunch of sandstone. Auto shutdown initiated. Hey. Auto shutdown canceled. Mic off. Mic on. That was uh, odd. And every time it gets dark in here, I'm uh, shooting flare arrows so it stays lit for the stream. Otherwise, it's just really dark. And uh, Valk's currently uh, grabbing some dinner, and when he gets back, uh, we're going to go do the uh, Hallowed Halls, the first two, um, so he can get the experience uh, of doing them. Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that absolutely obliterates a battery. Oh, you almost got 1500. Shutdown initiated. Auto shutdown canceled. Mic off. Mic on. That is uh, annoying that my headset all of a sudden is starting to want to do an auto shutdown. daylight oh my Hey, now the tunnel goes straight through.
I'm glad I'm not running through this quickly because, man, that's a long drop. Oh, I think the sun just went behind that mountain over there. Oh, wow. Look at that. What is that place? That looks huge. What am I... What am I looking at there? I think it's something right in this area. Oh, I know, Pix. Of course, now it's going to be nighttime, so, uh, A little light over here. So now the question is will I make it to two thousand? Or will the final pickaxe break first? It's going to be close. Auto shutdown initiated. Auto shutdown canceled. Mic off. Mic on. We got the two thousand. May as well run out this pickaxe. Alright. Now we'll head back home. Oh, Balk's in an interesting spot. Hey, gone home. What's going on, buddy?
There we go. Uh, it's got us with 2,258. Gotta get some desert temple blocks. I got gotcha. you. Fast forward the night a little bit. Welcome back. I got two thousand. And I have a thousand something. A thousand nearly two hundred. Okay. Three thousand four hundred and fifty of that now in there. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, let's. that in there. And now let's go make our blocks. We want the desert temple block. There it is. Okay. That gives us 2,000 to work with right now. So we'll try that. So it's going to get a little tricky. supposed to work but yeah yeah I like that look
that. There we go. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I think that looks much better. Still need to do something with the foundation down here. Clean this up. Because it's sitting on sticks. Looks kind of weird.
Oh, no, that, that didn't do right. There we go. Okay. Oh no. Something's not removing correctly.
Ups. Alright, I guess the basics taken care of. Now, now we do a little decoration. Hold there. Something like that. Okay.
Maybe something like that. Sorry, I'm focusing here, Vault. Trying to get my aim in for these blocks. Yeah, sorry, problem. There, that looks really nice. Uh, let's try. Yes. Oops. There we go. Look, 
come take a look at the front and tell me what you think, Bulk. Thank you, Frostbite. It took some doing with single blocks to get it to, to get all the texture in there the way I wanted it. It goes really well, the doors. Yep. Kind of looks like an ancient library a little bit. Put the little fire fire lanterns back on it. Yeah, I did a bunch of stuff around the back and everything and also down the ground. Yeah, I noticed you've just seen it. Second, Yeah, yeah, I think I'm liking that. The only thing I don't like, and I've got to fix it, because it's going to drive me nuts, is uh, is the placement of those doors. Because the doors aren't lined up with these two pillars. See, the door's off to the uh, left of the opening yeah. of the pillars. So I've got to remove a couple of blocks and, it's, and then fill in the other side and then put the door back down. Yes, yes, I think so. All right, Gen X, have a good night. I am going to take a quick moment for a smoke chat. And then I think we'll... So tough because I just finished doing the... the all, all the little filigree pieces and everything for the exterior to get it looking all nice and everything. And then forgot that the door is off-center. Oh, and have you been trying out the uh, the fancy stone, Valk? Not yet, no. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like your house exactly like it is, but, you know, when you've got extra options there... that you didn't have before, you know, may as well give them a try and see if you like them better than what you currently have.
Oh, headset lost connection there for a second. something real quick. All right, we're good to go. Uh, let's see. Kind of feel like this should have some different lighting. Fireflies are nice. But I feel like it needs fire. Does he have here? Well, look who's back. Oh, you know, these right here, those might be the good ones. Those might be the ones to do. Soup and fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? I haven't made that. Yeah, that looks nicer. Yeah, I like that better. yet I mean I really feel like I should do something um I'm just having trouble coming up with what to do uh probably I mean if I do it it'll probably be like uh a day of uh community games um like uh risk and, and things like that uh would be my guess the reason I thought about doing it with talisman but, um, you know, there's only so many people that want to play Talisman, so. And Talisman can take hours. <coughs> or it can go very quickly. It all depends on the die rolls. Alright, now. Because of how I designed this thing, I don't know if this still has a decent home. Doesn't look like it. One, two, three. It doesn't look horrible there. Yeah, I think that still works. So, Valk, what do you think about the the of the uh, upgrade to the exterior of the uh, of the warehouse? Oh, well, the uh, brickwork looks good. As you say, it was a door. Now you see it with it being off from them pillars. You can see why you said what you said. Yeah. 
This means I gotta pick up some stuff. I think it's off by two. Yeah, the right hand side or your left hand side is out by one. And this seems to be off by maybe one. Oh, I think it's closer to four. So we're going to line up here. Yeah, because the left hand side of the door is going to have to come across as well. I think it's only two you need to come across, not three. Sure? Yeah. If you if you go by what you've just lined up with the centre of that one that you did this side. Oh, yeah. Okay. That looks more central. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's much better. Alright, now...
something like that. Get rid of that. There we go. That fixed it. Almost. We've got one block there that needs to be dealt with. that out of the way for a second. There's that. And now that I've got that removed for a second, There we go. Okay. There. That looks quite nice. What do you think, Bob? Yep. Yeah. Looks nice and neat now. <laughs> uh, I hear you, Frostbite. Yeah, I like the way this came out. This came out quite nice. All right, now I gotta put stuff away. Okay, and then we gotta have a home for this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm planning on another mounted head for that. Uh, I'm, I wasn't gonna do a mount, a matching mounted head. Um, I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the cyclops on the other side. That way, you got two separate big enemies that have got big heads uh, up there. But that means going all the way through the second hollow hall again. Well, I, you know, it's awesome and it sucks all at the same time because now I'm sitting here looking at this flooring as you go in, and it's still using the, the old, you know, rough lumber before walking into this nice building 
almost feels like the front porch needs an upgrade to it. I wonder. Well, I'm probably going to regret this, but. Oh, I need to make sure I have blocks. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Oh, I didn't notice that. This could now work for this. Oh, look at how that meshed in. That meshed in really nicely. I think we'll leave the iron doors there. What? Get out of my way. If it wasn't so foggy, then uh, it'd be easier to see. Yeah, that blended in seamlessly. <coughs> well, I mean, the inside is still the palm wood. So, same place you get all the materials from this, along with the iron lanterns. So, the only difference is that I've got the highly polished stone floor in here. Let's check something. I want to see something from this side. Oof. I'm worried about doing it though. We're removing the rest of this foundation sitting here, replacing it with desert blocks. Did I even grab the desert blocks? I didn't. Absolutely. So, Balk, I'm trying to give uh, Tundra a couple minutes to see if he's going to be joining us. I sent him a message because I saw he was uh, he had popped online. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Before going and taking on one of the hallowed halls. Yeah, I know he's been mostly focusing on building his house. Um, if you want to see what he's been doing, actually, yeah, we'll go take a look at that chat. Uh, I browsed it earlier uh, today. <coughs> but here's the beginnings of his house. He doesn't have a roof or anything on it. He said it is going to have a second story. But I'm really liking how he's doing some of his uh, woodwork and stuff and giving it this look. Um... Of course, now that we know what it was he was looking for. Yep. Yep. So this is what he's put in place of the church that used to be here. He is no longer homeless. His house is no longer invisible. No, but he's still sleeping outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's made different rooms and whatnot. He's going for a very big build. Wow. He's trying to do Fort Knox, is he? <laughs> hey, he comes straight over to here.
course, now I'm trying to make sure I close all the doors behind me. But there you go. That's the uh, beginnings of his build that he's working on. Uh, but uh, I got a feeling that when he gets to take a look at the uh, fancy stone, um, because of the style that he's trying to go with, the, the fancy stone actually might wind up being the style that he was looking for. Um, but I really like what he's doing here, with even though he's having to do it manually. But I think this comes out looking really nice. So, Valk, we can now ping on the map. If you take a look around the map, there's uh, elixir wells and shroud roots that might not have a check mark on them for you. Um, why don't we go tackle a few of those and get you some skill points? Kind of like, uh, have you done this one? Uh, it does. This place looks really good. Yeah, it's a mouthful. Okay. Uh, uh, that one I haven't done. That one you haven't according, done? According okay. to the map, even though I'm sure I have. Oh, no, if it doesn't have a check mark on it, then you haven't done that one. All right, cool. We'll go take care of that one. Because that's one that I hadn't done uh, until earlier today offline. So we are going here. That way. Let me uh, eat some food. I don't need to eat that. Okay. Get my marker again. We're going seventy one meters straight forwards. And this works because uh, we'll get our shots for us. Yep, I was just killing some guys up here. Co collect. Yep, I was just collecting some uh, shout spores because we need them.
Okay. Oh, sounds like McSire is jumping on. Oh, hello. I'm what's, right here. What's going on, buddy? Doing all right, thought I'd just add some stuff to my house. Yeah, take a look at the warehouse. Oh, okay. Ow! Jerk. So I had a cool idea what I was trying out right now. And it's actually looking really cool by me doing it. Well, uh, I unlocked some new uh, building blocks. Hey, squirrel! So there's uh, there's new there's new build blocks to be able to use. Oh, okay. No, what I was saying is, uh, you know, how I have pillars in my place. What I thought is, since I use about two blocks, why not put that glowing um, stuff you gave me? Yep. In the middle. And then put a book. so but a block, then um, you know glowing piece, and then pillar. instead of using the regular torches, which actually looks really nice. I mean, it's gonna be low lit, but uh, oh, good.
Alright, this brings us back to the entrance. So we can just teleport back home now. Because we've killed everything in here. That's good, Squirrel, because, uh, I mean, for uh, what we were talking about uh, in November, I think, um, having Nitrato cooperate is really, really good. Um, is that what you loading in the, uh, trying to load the mod in on it? So, yeah, did you see the warehouse, Mixar, for the exterior? Uh, not yet. I was just with the lighting. Hold on, let me go to... It's definitely changed its look. Oh, the whole area has had a little gentle change. Ooh, okay. And a creepy mask, monster. It just saw fight four. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> this person. A strange hobbit. I thought I was the hobbit. So, I'm still working on getting the materials necessary to be able to finish making the rest of the magic chests. No, that that's the project. But, uh, so as far as what we have now, as far as building blocks, though, the two new building blocks that got added in, well, you got three. Um, so I made purified slime. When I made purified slime, that gives you the, oh, vanilla with a custom map. Okay, cool. Um, so... Okay. So you got a few different build blocks. So you can make the green luminescent now. Hmm. Not sure if you want that or not. I'm just letting you know it's it's available. Um, so you got the green luminescent. You've got the uh, desert temple blocks, which is what the exterior of the, uh, the, the desert temple blocks is what I use to do the exterior of the warehouse. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. That's the desert. Oh yeah, it gives a desert. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the fancy stone blocks. They're literally called fancy stone blocks. Limestone and panic um, plates. Oh, okay. I was gonna say there's some inside the crate on the opposite side. But yeah, I was I was tired of the brick, and then I noticed how nice the columns look with the uh, desert temple uh, blocks. And since I've been building the thing to look a bit like a bank vault inside, you know, having those nice columns and everything kind of gives it more of that vibe to go with. Okay, so it gives these columns. All right. Just so that you have an idea of, uh, oh, and I found a couple things for you. Oh, okay. I put them in the equipment box. Because <coughs> I found a purple oh, staff, yeah. I found a purple staff that I thought you might like. Because it's a level, okay. it's a level 25 staff already. This one's right here. Oh. Oh, you moved it. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that, that box there. Should be in there. Mm, just down, just down. That's a 14 stone. 25 bonds. One might actually work. What? Can I pull you a fire? And I have a 25. No. Wait, wait. Mm. None of those have been upgraded yet. Is that the root stuff? Oh, I wasn't looking at the staff. I just saw the wand. No. Oh, here it is. Purple staff. The purple staff, I believe, is down at the bottom. 
the bottom. Um, I see wands. Uh, let me see if I buy it. There's a crackling wand. I definitely could use that. I mean, that would upgrade from the level 25. Well, they're both level 25, but one's blue and one's green. That is an upgrade. So I'll definitely take that. There, I just threw it in your backpack. Oh, okay. Oh, the glimmer. Okay, 25 versus... Actually, the shining's 29. Well, like I said, that hasn't been upgraded yet. Mm. Gotta, go, gotta go spin runes to go to, to the blacksmith and have them enhance it up to its maximum level. You said ton... Oh, this got upgraded. What's that? Uh, the TP house, which is full of bones. Well, that's uh, not the that's not the blacksmith. Blacksmith in the middle. Oh, but you can upgrade your weapons here too. Yep. Oh yeah. Shock, shock magic, shock magic, increase crit chance, and did you increase backstab damage. Well, did you say you saw a tundra hop on? No. No. Oh, okay. I think it is a different staff. Um, I still like the shepherd's light lightning though. Okay. Like I said I found I it. Right. I wouldn't get rid of it unless we have another mage, because it is higher than like a level fifteen. Um, yeah. Um, it is higher. Alright. I'm going to replace that. It's 4 1. We don't need Type of mage you then looks like? I am one that cuts trees. <laughs> I know, not helpful. Hmm. Actually, I have no clue to be honest at this point. I'm still kind of leveling up. I'm only level 10. Hmm. I mean, I'm right now, I am going towards the wizard tree. What? Uh, but I kind of want that necromancer spell. <clears throat> so if I kill somebody, I maybe have ten percent chance of getting a friend. Yep. Yeah. Is that one any good to you that I just put in your backpack? Um, <coughs> actually, let's see here. I already have it. No, I already have an ice one. Um, that's fifty-two, and it's a twenty-eight level. But I'll put you go back. Put it back. Here. Yeah, just stick it in there. It's safe. I mean, it's a level 20, so it's still good. It's just not... <clears throat> damage wise and everything else is lower than what you've currently got. Well, it's not just the damage. Um, again, uh, again, I love all love the mana meets, love all that stuff. It's just that you know, I guess when you're talking about upgrades and stuff, this one's a little better. I mean, a little. I mean, it's like 12 extra damage. Oh, this is missing... Huh, I'll put you in here, too. That's missing a piece. Uh, Desert Temple. Here we go. Yeah, you have to relearn where everything goes. It's not organized yet, Mixar. Oh, okay. I'm just for it's it, it's it's somewhat organized, but have 
have you got one of the uh, ghost gliders then? Looks like. Uh, ghost what? Glider. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do have that, yes. It's alright, because I had a spare one in my backpack for some reason. There we go. Oh, what day is that? These guys are empty, but that's your out. Phones, put you in there. There, now it's got a matching. That was going to drive me nuts for a second because they weren't matching. Okay. Kinds of good stuff going on here. All right. All right. Well, Vault, let's go get you some experience. <laughs> this will not be easy. Just heads up. Are we not taking Mixi with us, even though he's level? <laughs> oh, this could be this could be rough on him. You guys just want to get me killed. I get it. Well, that, and I know... Oh, I'm you, sorry, I'm, I'm rebuilding. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was saying, I know that he can't hang out for too long because uh, it's Saturday, so he'll have to be heading out in like an hour and a half or so. Yeah, I'm not happy, but <laughs> I got to work. I pay the bills. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I've got my foods. Uh, I need a couple extras of those. What am I missing? Bell peppers. I'm out of bell peppers. What? That's weird. I thought you had a whole bunch of those. Apparently not. Better pull that out of there. Just in case. Alright, let's check. Alright, that's got the indigo going. That's got the wheat going. This is for shrooms. Yeah, we got 300 shroom seedlings now. This is tomatoes. This is strawberries. This is forest beets. Berries. Bell pepper. Here we go. Well, let's get these planted. So you've chose the life of being a hobbit, have you? Looks uh Hey, it's a very comfortable one. And I bet you couldn't guess what my life turned it into. A hobbit too? No, the elves. Clearly, because I've got all the trees around me. <laughs> oh, that. I thought that was just, you know, a life choice. <laughs> no, don't worry, it'll be like, you know, instilling claustrophobia into you constantly. Not Have you seen my house lately? Yep. Yes. Yep, we went and did a tour of it. Okay, well, it's a little different, you know, because 
I changed the lighting. Well, well, well except we went and did a tour of it today, so. Ah, all right. So you found all the hidey holes, right? Yep. yep. All right. That's got the bell peppers planted. Well, we're not going to wait for them, though. So I'm going to eat my chicken soup. I'm going to eat my spiced tea. And then we're going to get our dexterity going. All right. So that puts us at 19 dexterity now. Yep, yeah, 19 dexterity and 15 endurance. 18 constitution and 13 on strength. Nice. Which is just give me 1,360 health. Wow, that's a lot of health. Still, still gonna get my ass handed to me. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> so, as a heads up, Valk, everything in this dungeon. Is level 15. Right. And where are you? Level 15. Yep. Oh. This has got some weird graphics going on. Do you see a bunch of floating rubble? Okay, so it's not just me. Oh god, no. Does it continue doing it deeper in? Yeah, it does. This is going to make it very difficult to do this dungeon. Oh yeah, man, they, it's everywhere. Killed everything in the doorway, so makes it hard to loot. I am not sure about this. Well, hopefully, when we teleport downstairs, it'll be nice. It is not. Hey, cowgirl. I'm not sure about this with all the walls and everything being like this. Because it's not supposed to be like that, Valk. I've already done this dungeon twice. And all this stuff floating in the air is not normal. Well, you brought me along. Do you think it's going to ever be normal? <laughs>
I can't get a bead on them. They're right below us. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Well, this is a uh, part of the new content, cowgirl. But right now, something on the game is messed up. Yep, we couldn't get through here until we grabbed all that stuff. But, you see this green stuff on the ground? This is the stuff we want to mine up. And since we're low on bones, I'm going ahead and mine up the bones too. Oh, this is freaky. Every time I mine a section, the floating blocks move. That's good enough for here. The next zone we're going into is going to have plenty more to mine. Mm. 
Alright, I want to go this way. Are we heading for that door right in front of us? Yeah, but at the moment I'm working on that guy down there. What, the one with the sign? Oh, you got an army coming at you. We got all this over here to be able to find out. What was that, Mixar? Oh, no. I just bounced it over the top floor. Uh, sorry, Chad, I'm having a hard time reading the screen right now. The sun is right in my eyes. Oh, we'll be going all around this place because we gotta go hit some things. So, like, if I come up here, there's probably some enemies up here. Come think of it. Yep.
Let's see, we got two switches we got to find for this door. And with these blocks floating all over the place, it makes it hard to be able to tell what you can step on and what you can't. I still can get this Yeah, there's a big pile of bone that we could chop through. Yeah, you got the guy with the scythe. Nice. <coughs> Does that mean that one of them blocks have been undone? <coughs> Not yet. <coughs> it opened up the barrier to, to get to the switch. It's 
see? But it's what you actually have to push. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, oh man. Allergies love you. And I cheated. I got the other one. So now the door's on, yeah? Yep. Yeah, we skipped all the puzzles inside this one. I'm I'm in the room. Oh, Stop touching my laptop. Like oh wow, 17 likes. Hi, right, Bamata. So there is an anvil over here to be able to repair your equipment. Oh, thank God for that. I was just about to break the sword. Don't forget to loot these guys. What we... in God's earth is that thing that's staring at us? Is that one of the flowers? What thing? That above the right on the left. You look up the hill. Turn around the other way. As if we're heading up the hill. I don't see anything staring at us. Oh, it's one of the fire flowers. Oh, okay. From somewhere else, we've got some different. There's another one over there. Yep, grab that. Yeah, jump up and touch it. I 
I missed. As I say, don't mind me, I'm casually beating up rats down here. Well, the rats will always come. There, I got that one. Took care of those fire flowers. All kinds of mineables in here. that we were jumping up and catching. What do they unlock? Uh, that's what unlocks a barrier. Uh, the barriers. Yes. Right. You have to collect all of them in the room before the barrier unlocks. Um, the easiest way to show you what I'm talking about is come over here. Oh, I'm out of mana. Crap. Upstairs here is where the barrier is. And it'll have a number of lines on it that'll tell you basically how many you still have to go. Oh boy. Here they go. Nah. Everything in this dungeon will be for level 15. So, Maxia's level for now. Yep. I'm just trying not to die to all the rat warrens. It's 
So many rats. Here we are. Have you gone off? Yep, I'm upstairs. How to get up there? I'll show you. Got yeah, come over here. Alright, before we open this door, I'm going to take a quick second to grab a smoke. Um, check this room for secret doors. See if you find anything. Might be behind bookshelves. So what you think of the hollowed hall so far, Balt? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, so you can see where even with us being, you know, me being 25, you being in your high 20s, um, even going into a level 15 dungeon can get a little hairy because the sheer number of enemies they throw at us. <laughs> 
so now you remember in uh, in the shroud, we can come across those areas where it's got like a looks like a red river type thing, and you know if you touch that, you pretty you much touch to death. Yeah. yeah. So in here, you're gonna find something looks similar that's green, and what it does, it doesn't just take away your stamina; it also slows you down. It's nasty. Don't touch it. So the other one that's lava, this one's poison. <laughs> Pretty much. It's the best way of putting it. Well, while you're having a quick smoke, I'm just going to go and grab a quick drink. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get down. No, don't care. Go. Ah. Oh. The inventory's getting full. Let's take a look. Let's start salvaging some stuff. need that. Oh, it's soup, so I can't eat it. Okay. Uh, That's uh, space to the inventory. Right. Uh, I'm going to give you some of the uh, copper arrows just in case you need the extras. I won't. I came here with 1800 arrows. Oh, that's not why I just done that. I was going to say you might want to heal yourself. <laughs> and I accidentally did it myself. Yep, because this room's nasty, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm just replenishing my boots and stuff. Yep. Ah, oh, yes. I remember this. I'm going to have you grab their attention while I destroy their uh, spawners, okay? Go over here to the left.
Done. For now. For now. Oh boy. Hold on. So this has got the green slime down on it, but you're going to start sliding. So you got to navigate while you're sliding to make sure you don't land in the stuff. And then it's going to drop us in spiders. Let's check the other side before we slide down. These weird artifacts on the screen are annoying. Oh, you didn't loot anybody. Oh, no, I was killing them when I, and then I called to where you were. That's why there's a light behind the door. Release me. Archer's body chest and sweet house. Is that it? Yep, that should be it in here. Bone scourge mace. Hey, they got some really cool looking equipment. But at our level, it's kind of useless. Okay, I died in here a couple of times. Yeah, I just went a slightly different route than you. Oh, jeez. I don't even see ya. Ah, right, there's a big... I mean... Yeah, I'll catch up to you. Yeah, I knew you would be. Yeah, I was fighting loads of spiders down the bottom. <laughs> oh, is this round two? Uh huh. Right. I didn't realise the first time round that you got them things you got to jump over. Oh no! Oh, all right, I survived. I need to heal up. Is that what you're on about, this big thing in the middle? Uh-huh. Of course, you can mine it up and you get some uh, slime out of it. Yep. What are you? 
I was just shedding some light on the subject. You got a dog, you got the bone dogs following you. Got a bunch of them. Oh, how do I get up there? There's a chest up there that I didn't see last time. Nope, so you need crazy vision to see it. <laughs> Where's the chest? Drop in the top left hand corner. Hmm. Oh no, that's not a chest. That's a uh, that's a hook. Okay. So round the rock. Oh, What if I do this? Ah! Aha! And it is a chest I didn't get before. Oh, that gave a legendary bow. Too bad it's level 15. But man, that thing's awesome. You don't have to come up here. I made it. Bows. Okay, cool. Boy, this place is much easier with an extra person. <coughs> this sort of just reminds me of uh, World of Warcraft, the uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I can see that. See secret doors in here. Okay. Oh, yay. Look at all the green. Because, you know, they can they can run through it and be unaffected. Yeah, yeah, don't don't touch it. Bad. Yeah, I didn't see the uh, the floating bricks. 
<laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, somehow I touched it. Get them all? I think I got them all. Before we go back down there and make a left, I need to hit the restroom real quick. Okay, I am back. Welcome back. Yeah, I learned to walk very carefully through this place. And now with all these extra visual issues... Was almost bad. Oh, that is bad.
Do I see anything down there? I don't see any enemies down there. Alright. Great and goop. Oh. I can hear him. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's loads of Where we just come from. We're going to be going down a little bit farther. This is the treasure room. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on, Tundra? Oh, no, this is the right way. So it's back the other way is the treasure room. I'm not going to worry about going back the other way. Because, uh, it's all nasty over there. Haven't we just been here? Nope. It looks similar. But this is the boss room. Oh, nice. So, follow me. You want to heal. Before you do, you might want to heal yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, good point. And... Now, I'm to show you how tough he is. <laughs> That's a barrier vault. See how it has a little line on it? Yeah. Yeah, I go up and around this way. Or that way. I think there's a hook over there, too. Yep. And then we jump in. And there he is. And watch out, it's hidden, but there are green slime pits in here. Oh, that's why he's coming after me. <laughs> oh! Yeah, run away, skeletons. <laughs> was all right until he cast whatever that was on the floor. <laughs> all right. I guess I got his head. That's the whole reason I wanted to be here, because I wanted to collect his head. And I have checked this room multiple times over, and there is no secrets in here that I can find at least. You just ran straight through the slime. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with floating blocks. Uh, it's only inside this dungeon.
Alright, but I got space in my inventory. So. Let's mine up this stuff. Oh, and uh, you missed it earlier, but I did pick up another set of building blocks. Actually, I got two sets of building blocks. So now you got the fancy stone, and we've got the desert temple. Yes, I can get ahead in life. What noise? You know the one that you just took the head off? Oh, yep. On, on my screen, he's still exploding. Oh, yeah, he's still laying there. Yeah, but on my screen, he keeps exploding. Oh. Yeah, I know. So you hopping in with us tonight, Tundra? Yeah, make sure to go mine up all that ectoplasm over there too. Hey, Petra, what's going on? Oh, uh, okay. Yes, the teleporting box is driving me nuts. that noise, Mixar? Well, I don't think it's going to be a relog because Bulk's getting the same thing. Um, so it's not just me, it's something happening on the server end of it. So, bear when we leave here, I may want to do a reboot on the server. Well, see, I've done this dungeon before, and it didn't have floaty blocks all over the place. Oh, my inventory is almost smack full. Yeah, we ran out of bones. I made arrows.
Yep, yep, that's the wife. Nah, she's making sweet tea. So, uh... Yeah, we got some good building blocks for you to experiment with, uh, Tundra. Oh, I hear you. So what you saw here was, uh, in case you didn't catch it from the beginning, that was the boss for the second hallowed hall. Oh, I know, the phantom debris is really... I mined out that side. Out of curiosity, how many arrows did I go through? About half as many. Okay, nice. <coughs> when I did this solo, it took me almost 1,500 arrows to get through this whole place. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Well, when I go try to open the one in the uh, Nomad Highlands, we'll know. Because McSire hasn't complained about any floating blocks back in the house, so... I think you just the guys are all crazy. That's all. It's like floating blocks. I don't see those floating blocks. All right, Petra. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. But that slit shot skill a lot of times helps out a lot because it hits multiple enemies, so it kind of helps whittle them down quickly. Alright, that's it. I'm going back to the house because my backpack is completely full. So, I'll see you back at home base, Walt. Okay.
There we go. Don't remember which box has what in it, so I'm just going through and just. Inventory here. Oh, I see Tundra's hopped on now too. Okay. This can be deleted. That is really nice, but it's only level 15. You know what? I'm going to save it just in case. I'll talk to the huntress. We'll check and see how this looks. I'm hoping that it's roughly the same size as that wisp wyvern. Gotta go kill the Wisp Wyvern three more times. But we'll go ahead and make that so that now we have the bronze version. So we gotta kill that Cyclops three more times, which means you gotta go through the Hallow Hall three more times so that we can get the bronze version of it. But now let's see how it looks. Okay. Not quite as big as the Wisp Wyvern. Oh! Its eye follows you. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't expect it to have an eyeball, but the eyeball, you can see it. You can watch it move, too. That's cool. Yeah, I'm watching it move from over here as it's following you, Valk. <coughs> That's trippy. And it's sad. The whole reason for doing that dungeon again was so that I could get the head and mount it. Closer to the door pillars? Yeah, yeah, we can try it. So what are we thinking about, like here, is what you're thinking, Frostbite? Oh, to make room for more, okay. Ah, okay, all right. 
Yeah, so I'll line this one up there. And then we'll line this one up there. Yeah, I agree. I like that. It's also the Cyclops is now watching you when you go in. Yep. Well, it also makes it where the heads are in frame as you walk into the uh, warehouse. Now, the question is, can you confuse the Cyclops by having two of us, one on each side of his eyeball? Which one does it look at? <laughs> right now it's falling... Well, it was following me. Now it's following you. Now it's following me. Now it's following you. Oh, it's whoever's closer. It follows whoever's closer to it. Yeah, fix the doorway, too. Oh, man. That, having fixed the doorway just makes me feel so much better about this building. Considering the time it is here. Alright, buddy. Understood. Have yourself a good night. And you? Well, it's a pleasure to play with you again. So, yeah, yeah, we'll have to do it again. Yep, nice having you around, Hulk. Alright, see you later. Alright. Was that thunder? Yeah, stuff and things. Sorry, I was just uh, showing off the house to my audience. Ah. <laughs> what I did. Well, yeah, you I'm just you just missed Mark. Yeah, uh, I figured. As soon as I joined, uh, everybody leaves. <laughs> well, Mixar will be leaving here in just a second too. Yeah. 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 I did a tour of your place earlier. But, uh, have you been back to the main base yet? No, nah, I just got it. Oh, okay. You gotta go check out what I did to the warehouse. Okay. You did something today? Yep. Yep. It looks so much better. <laughs> Let's take a look. They changed the pillars on the walls, looks like. Not just the pillars. Oh yeah, I said the walls. So. Yep, change up. It's <laughs> <laughs> looking at you. There's the textures loading in. Yeah. <laughs> nice blocks. That's the, the, what is it, the Sandstone City or whatever. Block. No, this is the Desert Temple. Uh, I, I went to <laughs> I went to the challenging uh, Sun Temple and uh, managed to find them. Yeah. Well, because sadly, previously on my plan, I'd actually been in that area. I'd gone down that area uh, getting some other stuff. Um, and awesome enough, uh, when Valk and I went down there, he found, he got lucky and got another piece of my gear. Uh, well, for the set that I'm wearing, um, because I've got the eagle eye chest, but the rest of it had been the deer stalker gear, 
Well, he found the Eli gloves for me. Um, so the uh, the eagle eye stuff is for the the sniper type of archer. So I'm hoping to find more of it. But that's the one area that I know of that I've been able to find the gear, and it's a random proc. So you know, it always annoyed me because whenever I went down there, I kept on getting stuff for tanks, and I'm going, I'm not a tank. Why do you keep giving me this stuff? Mm-hmm. I think the the game might be slightly programmed to drop to to drop more stuff more often that isn't for your type of build. <laughs> right? Is I always like me? I always end up finding uh, either archer stuff or stuff for uh, for mages <laughs> all the time. Oh, I very rarely will find stuff for me. Did you walk around the outside of the uh, of the building? I, I took some inspiration from you and added some uh, some little decorations. I'm still working on it. I'm not happy with how some of it's coming out. It's not quite lining up how I want it to. Yeah, because it's on a slope. You, you would, yeah, you would want that all up one level, one all, all up one level. Yeah. And then add more. Down but further. but then you know I replaced all the. Uh, foundation that had still had the rough wood uh, along the bottom of it but uh what do you think yeah it's uh, the only thing I the only thing I would say is the the roof might need a change <sighs> that's the problem I, I went to go look at the roof and there aren't really good roof pieces no nah, there's not a whole lot I would say the probably the uh, the clay tile would probably fit better I'm not sure that it does, because, I mean, I, I've got it on my house. Um, oh, right, but the, it's... Uh, or the generally stone. In very, it generally in very hot areas, they have, uh, you know, clay tiles. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. The, uh, the desert and stuff like that. So, but uh, I found a good place for that iron doorway. It meshed, I, I didn't realize it, but it meshed perfectly with this build. And... If you noticed, the door moved. It's now centered with the walkway. Yeah, yeah. while well, you're rebuilding it. Because, you know, that was driving me nuts. <laughs> yeah. Well, now that you've changed it to that, the, the door does fit with it now. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I had it with the copper door. And the copper door worked great with the with the red brick and everything. Um, and it worked fine with this as well, but then I saw that I still had that iron door sitting in the box. I was like, oh, let me slap that on there and see how it looks. And I put it on there like, oh, because of the way that I did the doorway, because there's not all of that is door. It's all part of the, uh, blocks. Cause I did kind of a, not a lintel and not a door frame. It's kind of like, a I don't know what to call it. Uh, basically, I ran a line of blocks across the top of the doorway to give it that look. And then when I put that uh, iron door in there, it all meshed in perfectly. So I was quite excited about that. Yeah, I got a legendary bow here now to give my other character. It's a level 15. <laughs> and But then I'm trying to remember what level is the bow that my character currently has. Because <laughs> I'm saying, yay, I got a level 15 legendary. And it's not nearly as good as the one that I got. But it'd be good for the Hallows. So. Because mm -hmm. I was going to say, on your, on your save, um... We're at high enough level to easily go and do at least the first hollow. And that'll give us the creepy guy. And have you looked in the alchemist's room? Because that's another one I changed. Because I don't think you've been in there since I changed it. I've seen all the stuff unless uh, you did more. No, I haven't done anything else. 
I couldn't remember if you saw it on stream or if you saw it in game. Yeah, I saw it on stream. It's like it's very green in here. It is. Very green. And you still haven't changed the entrance yet. <laughs> no, no, that's on the to do list. That's on the to do list. It's on the list. Still on the phone. Um, and then, uh, uh, while I was off stream, um, I ran over to Raven's Keep because we'd been there before and apparently we just never grabbed the box. Yeah, <laughs> or at least I'd never grabbed the box. And, uh, and I feel bad because over on your playthrough, we've been through Raven's Keep and somehow we ignored the box that has the fancy stone. That's what it's called. Fancy stone. And city stone. Now I have to collect that on my game set uh unlocks for it. Well and the fancy stone, um I know you've done a lot of build over there so far on your build, but the fancy stone from what you were describing and what you were looking for, the fancy stone actually looks like what you were actually looking for. Uh, I I've seen it on the on the Reddit post as it's not. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, what I got right now is the best I'm gonna get. Okay. There's, there's nothing else that fits with it. Yeah, I mean, I love the way you did your wood trim and everything on it. It looks really awesome. Um, yeah, and the problem with the the refined sandstone is they, when they mesh with other blocks, they put these these like uh, tile pieces. Yep. On them, but it's in random spots, and it's annoying. So what I did was I trimmed it with the uh, with the regular sandstone. Okay. On the very top, underneath the wood, because that meshed much better. So there's like, <laughs> there's three different types of blocks for the for the walls that I got going on there. It is crazy. So, uh, also, there's a lot more planters over here, and they're all assigned. Yeah, yeah. and I put this one here on the end because I needed um, I need the indigo. So. Oh, funny enough, so did I. But you're in luck. There's a lot of indigo now. Because I, I, I've been planted a bunch of it too, so that I can mine it up. Because that's for uh, refined sandstone blocks. Yep. It, you need indigo. So. Okay, <laughs> I had to have it for the uh, desert temple blocks. Mm. Where's okay. the Where's the one that's running? Wait, did it finish? Oh yeah, you did have way, way more than a minute ago. <laughs> oh yeah, this one finished. All right, this has got 90 indigo seedlings. We got 50 in the other box. So you got about 140 available. But I've been slowly working on assigning these to different plants. So we can come in and just hit the plus button to say we need this many seedlings. Yeah. Like this one over here is making wheat. And it's still got another three hours to go. Because I'm running low on flour. And we've got some hardwood available now. And we also have this growing over here behind Valk's place. They haven't grown yet because, you know, trees take forever to grow. But uh, these trees mm -hmm. here are the green trees that will, pr that will produce hardwood. Yeah. So we got hardwood trees. we got resin trees. Because I was low on resin. But, you know, originally I wasn't going to chop down all the red trees, but then I started looking at how it looks in the town. I was like, you know, I think I kind of like this. Yeah. That was what we were talking about yesterday. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it, it, they, they look too nice uh, around the walkways and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm leaving them in place. I mean, there's areas where I can chop them down and not have any worries like out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and her uh, her palm trees finally grew. Yeah, I'd seen that while I was on here yesterday. Uh, walked over and it's like, oh, palm trees there. <laughs> Big Sire, they're growing. Big Sire's trying to turn his place into a temple. <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. Well, have you gone in? Not yet. Down at your farm? Yeah. Looks like you can definitely get lost in here. 
Oh, he's got secret doors in here. Yeah, I just went through one. This one over here. Oh, and this is this is where he's gonna be a. Uh, this is where he's gonna have his cult uh, meetings. <laughs> Stuck. I couldn't move there for a second. <laughs> ah. Tundra, it lagged a little. Tundra, over here. Oh. Oh. Come back. Oh. The secret door brings you brings you back down to the cult. Uh, your your pillar's off center there. And then there, there's another door here. Uh. Yep, that's where he's gonna. That's where he's probably gonna put the shitter. <laughs> he's got tunnels. <laughs> oh yeah, tunnels everywhere. So, Mixar, just to point out something for you, you've got one pillar mm -hmm. that is off. Oh yeah. <laughs> where? It happens. <laughs> Oh, in here? It, it yeah, oh, the the, yeah. the single pillars uh, are sometimes uh, such a pain. I, hate that uh, I was thing. having trouble with them on my house. I was trying to put those wood, the wood paneling in between the the refined sandstone, and just the depth perception sometimes is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's just like place it. Hey, that looks good, and then you turn to the side of it. It's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, my eyes, they're not weird. Okay. Turn off your turn off your snapping. It'll make it easier yeah, to place I it. Do. I have to turn it off. To... Yeah. But snapping even... doesn't. Snapping needs some work. <laughs> it needs some work. Well, Look I mean, it. snapping works for me for specific things, like when I'm when I'm planting. Yeah. The snapping works fantastic. Uh, or when you're doing, if you're doing a flat foundation and you need to put a lot of big blocks, they snap together. Very nice. Yes. But it's when you're trying to do walls and things like that, and pillars, and they just they they want to snap to everything but where you want to put it. Well, and like I've been using snapping for what I'm putting down the uh, seed beds. But yeah, did you see the palm trees that are growing around the huntress's house? Yeah. So that's got her place looking nice. And this area here, I'm gonna wind up clearing out, so I can put the uh, tiered garden that I was uh, envisioning. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Is that your eternal heal? Yeah, that's an eternal change. So I can kind of spin it a little bit. Oh, that reminds me. Hang on. Let me see. Do I have it in my backpack? Yeah. Let me do this. Send this to you. Give that to you. Give that to you. Give this to you. Moon channel, yeah. There you go, and then I'm saving that for me. Okay. Yeah. Right, well, I need to get ready for work. All right, buddy. Sad but true. Man, that wand looks so cool. I hate to destroy it, but it's it's only level 15, so it's kind of useless. <laughs> uh, well, do you think there'll be other mages coming on? Or Probably not. Wild go mage. No, and if anybody's going to be traveling with me, they're all going to be grabbing the 25 gear, whether they're level 25 or not, so. Alright, well, like I said, I got a log. Alright, bud. Take care. Later. Glad you enjoyed my crazy house. <laughs> Makes me happy. Uh, I need aseptic. Wood acid and aloe. Okay, I've got that. Well, 
We'll let that run. That's going to take an hour. Uh, where do I make my clean bandages? see them so I don't make them at this guy which means I make the antiseptic here with him but then I go to the hunters to make the bandages that I need yeah these guys need a better door too oh yeah they got like the the, the first door <laughs> yeah well my, my plan for what I want to do with their building is uh, once I uh, get into the third uh, dungeon, um, I want to do their house up in the red in the red marble. Because you get the you don't get the well as far as I know, I definitely didn't find it in the second dungeon. So yeah, there's two Hallowed Hall blocks. Yeah, so and I'll, the one in the first dungeon and the one in the second dungeon. Wait, really? That's what the Reddit post said. In the first and the second dungeon. Uh, take a look again real quick. Because I've got the Hallow Halls block, but I don't have the... I must have... Did I miss them somehow? No, because I got the Hall Halls blocks in the second dungeon. I think Let me take a look again. Yeah, Hallowed Halls block, first dungeon towards the end. Red marble block, second dungeon. Huh. All right. So I'm... That's what the Reddit post specifically says. So I got to go back through the second dungeon again. So I still haven't found them. Hmm. That's that. But let me double check something. I like the ectoplasm block that reminds me of a uh, glowstone. Uh, yep. <laughs> it's just green. It'd be nice when they, uh, if, if they do add more luminous block colors, if they can just oh. add a few different ones of that type. Yeah, no, this place is still broke. Still broke. Yep. So I think what I'd like to do for just a moment, if you don't mind, Tundra, um, I want to pop back to the main menu and I'm going to do a restart on the server. Okay. To see if that will clean up our uh, dungeon. Uh, main menu. Alright, I'm gone. The server still thinks there's two people in it. <laughs> I don't want to restart it and it not have saved anything we did, you know. It would be nice to know when the auto saves happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like just 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 little ping in the corner of the screen, be like auto save. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and restart it. Okay.
Yeah, I figure since I got the Hallow Halls guy in the same place as the uh, Alchemist, that uh, doing it with uh, with the Hallow Halls blocks. But I like the when I looked at them, I like the red marble blocks better than I do the uh, the Hallow Halls block. Yeah, the Hallowed Halls block I think would have been. Oh, wait. Which one I've been looking at? I don't know which one I'm looking at. I think the one on the left. Yeah, the one on, the one on the right is the red marble. One of them has more red than the other. Yeah, they, they seem to have swapped the color. Yeah. And I just like the look of that red marble better than I do the uh, the Hallett Hall. I think if they did red edging on the red marble yep. as well, and then Hallett Hall's <coughs> block was black edging, I, I agree. Would have been, that would have been better. Yeah, the colors are clashing a little bit. <laughs> Not that one. But yeah, for some reason something was broke on the Hallowed Hall. So, uh, I mean, we ran through it. We managed to do it. But it was challenging because the, the floating artifacts were making it hard to see. And there's areas inside that dungeon where you gotta be very careful where you step. Yes. Because you get to an area where there's this green slime, and that green slime is worse than stepping in the red stuff in the shroud. Oh, really? Yeah. Instant death, huh? Not quite instant death, but you, you your stamina bar doesn't matter how big of a stamina bar you get you have. Instantly reduced to zero. Okay. So trying to jump out of it, you can't double jump, you can't glide, you can't... So trying to get out of it is... Eesh. So it's just a stamina reduction then? Step in that. And it does a dot, which has heavy damage. I mean, I think it does like 40 points of damage every third of a second. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, right. That, that is as bad as the rest. <laughs> but, oh, then, but then, because it's sticky, it also slows you. Because mm -hmm. when I first touched it, uh, the first time I went through the dungeon, I was like, okay, this is like the red stuff. And they're like, no, no, this stuff sticks to you. Yeah, the red stuff, if you, if you step a toe on it, at least you can jump out. Right. And, and hope to live. <laughs> so, and then I got places to go and explore as well that I still haven't, you know, removed. I have, I've got still several question marks on my map that I haven't done. All right, let's try. I don't see it yet. Oh, there it popped up. I love the fact that I log in and it tells me barrier unlocked. I think it's still loading some stuff. Yeah, now that all looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and teleport over there. We'll take a look. We're going to hope that the restart fixed that. Yeah. It did not. Yeah, 
No, nah, it's still got floating artifacts. But you can see them outside of the building without even having to open the door. But, yeah, I was coming over here to check and see if we're still dealing with floating artifacts or not. We are. Uh, I need to go grab foods. Because I am no. I'm out of my foods. So, quick. I don't see the artifacts on my screen. You don't see the floating blocks all over the place? No. Oh, okay. Well, then... Have been in here before? <laughs> no. No, you've not been in this one before. I but... I might do I then. Then that gives me... A second idea. I mean, because I mean, Valk was seeing it, but all right, I want to travel home, and this is the only place where I'm getting the floating blocks. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna close out of the game and reopen it. That's what I was thinking. It was maybe a maybe it was a DLC related bug and only appears in certain situations. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Turn the main menu. Quit. All right. Set that there. I put out the game completely. Yes, yes, Makes I exit sense. out of it completely. And relaunch it. Okay. Yeah, I also think it's funny too. Like in in uh, certain parts of my house, it's all cheery music, you know, cheery background music. Yep. All nice, relaxed. And then the other part of my house, and all of a sudden it goes creepy. <laughs> it's just like only certain parts of the house are. Creepy. Oh, well then your bathroom should be in the creepy area. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've completely reloaded the game. We're going to fast travel over there real quick, see if it got rid of the artifacts. Hopefully it did. Really hoping so. And yes, I have no floating artifacts. Awesome. Hey. All right. Then I got to run back home to make food because I've got none of my decks food anymore. Because I ran out of bell peppers. Mm. So I planted a bunch of them, but they should be ready to harvest. Yep. I love how you look at the plant, it's got like four or five bell peppers on it, but you harvest it and you only get one. Uh, that's, yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> and I, I've grown bell peppers. <laughs> uh, right? So you get more than one. <laughs> I, have a, I have a little garden. I mean, apparently I'm just a really crappy farmer that... uh. <laughs> uh. As soon as you get one, you just pick it, and then you just uproot it and <laughs> throw it away. Oh, right? Ugh. All right, where's my box for the bell peppers? I usually do uh, I do bell peppers and wheat, onions, potatoes, carrots. Oh, nice. Onions. And uh, also do corn, too. Corn is a pain in the butt. <laughs> Or it needs a lot of water. It does. You, need a, you almost need to water that thing 24-7. <laughs> Alright, that needs fossilized bone dust and water. So... Yeah, I mean, you always see those... Uh, we got the, we got those big old circular fields, you know, where they're constantly being oh. watered all the time. That was too many. With irrigation systems. And, 
And, uh, you know, people are like, oh, that's a big, huge waste of water. And then you, until you try to grow your own corn or your own wheat, then you realize that you need all that. Uh, well. It's like, yeah, I understand. That gives me a few of those. Uh, I've got plenty of those. Where is my chicken soup? What am I out of? Oh, the chicken soup needs bell peppers too. Really? I could say that. It makes sense. Oh, but I got seven on me. So, course, my favorite thing to do with bell pepper is the stuffed bell pepper. Oh yes. Stuff and stuff it with meatloaf. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah, I typically stuff it with a sausage mixture. Oh, All right. Oh, I've still got crap in my bag that didn't get put away. What the hell? And then if I have extra bell pepper, I'll cut them into strips, like like fries. Yep. And I'll just eat them like that, and that's good. There we go, I got all that put away. Sort that. That's got some good space in our inventory. How are we with the antiseptic? So I get some clean bandages to take with me. It's still cooking, but I can take seven. All right. I'm moving as fast as I can, Tundra. <laughs> faster, faster. Well, I don't like leaving somebody waiting on me, you know. <laughs> Alright, that gives me 20 of those. That should be plenty. Especially with you having your arch nemesis ability. It'll be wow. it's gonna be interesting going in here and seeing how the combat works playing with you versus going in there with a bulk. He got a slightly different build? Slightly different, but he also runs with a shield. Um I run with shield. Well, I have to. <laughs> I mean but kind of anyway. It's actually nice. No. That gives me another thousand arrows. Jeez. Well, uh, I noticed that going in there with him, I only went through half the arrows I went through soloing it. But I wanted to make sure I've got enough arrows on me. Yeah. All right, got my oh, yeah, pickaxes. You, you, you got more to protect on this on this run. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> I'm not as uh, strong as. Uh, as his character looked. Well, his character's only uh, level... Actually, his character was level 20 um, when we started today. And we went and did... Uh, we went and did one area to collect some materials. And he gained two levels just going out and doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, a victory garden. Corn, all of American stable crops... Oh no! And the soil was contaminated. Alright. Let's go do this thing. I'm refilling my beverage and then. We got a few more hordes of enemies to deal with this time. Huh, but, okay, well, it's going to be easier to uh, 
search this place now that uh, I don't have all these artifacts on my screen. But now I'm going to want to do an extra thorough search on this thing. I just love the doors, how slowly open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like you, huh? Yep. Oh, he's not dead yet. Okay. Level 20! There you go. You want to spend your points? Yeah, let's see. Do I have enough points for what I want? Oh, yeah. I can get any, any one of them. Okay. Let's see. What do my weapons have in common? I you have technically been in this dungeon before, but only up into one room because uh, we did the this is the this is the dungeon we did the ectoplasm uh, mining in. Oh. Okay, so I wanted additional cutting damage because all my weapons got cutting on them. Okay. Yeah, all my melee weapons got uh, a bunch of cutting, so it's like, yep, might as well up that. <laughs> and of course, we're going to want to mine up some of the ectoplasm and the uh, bones. Need to find that um, that chest. Yep. <laughs> With the blocks in it. Oh, what's behind this? Smash it. Up. Oh, needs a lockpick, and I don't have any metal scraps on me. I always carry lockpicks. Uh, ice protection lotion. <laughs> okay. Brandier shroud survival. Oops. Anything behind this one? Now you can generally see the door behind it. Don't trust it. <laughs> I broke it. Just keeping my eyes peeled for secret walls. This is just an army coming towards you. He's like, yeah, no problem. I got him. <laughs> That's round one. Gone the other way, like this way. Oh, this you have to go this way to be able to unlock the barrier. Oh, oh, is that what that green smoke is? Yeah, this is a dead end. Okay. Oh, got more spawning in. I guess once you unlock the barrier, enemies are just like, oh, spawning in. Yep. Will you stop running around? Big guy coming to 
Sergeant. Uh. Yep. And we want to make sure we loot these guys. No! I didn't want to get stuck behind the door. This next spot, I'm going to toss some uh, skulls, and hopefully you'll grab their aggro. I'll go destroy their spawners while you keep them off of me. Spawners are done. Yeah, enemies are done. Nice. Well done. That was that was good combo work with each other. Yep, so see there's a barrier there. Barrier. This this is what I was telling Balk earlier. So if you take a look here. See how it has a glowing yeah. line on it? That's telling you how much of whatever needs to be done to unlock the barrier has to be grabbed. In this particular case, it's those gems. couple. Alright. Oh! I didn't see him. He would hide behind the door. I didn't see him. <laughs> so, right? So, for you to grab the gem, this way you can see what it is. <coughs> there is a grappling hook anchor right above me. Okay. You go up there. And then there's another grappling hook anchor. And then, you see that glowing thing over there? Yeah. And there we go. We've got both of them, and now the barrier's unlocked. Ooh, red marble fragment. Oh, yes. Here, I'll give this to you, because it is absolutely useless to me. <laughs> okay. Actually, it's not. It's not entirely useless to you. Just it is. It's useless to your character right now. Yeah. But you may as well use it. Nah, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for your character to catch up. I got uh, two more on my save. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some of this ectoplasm and bones, because we're going to need it. Well, I didn't, uh, I brought, uh, I have one pickaxe, but I did not bring all my pickaxes okay. with me. <laughs> so. No problem. We'll, we'll grab what we can. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm in agreement with you, but I'm also there going, well, I'm going to need this stuff, so. I mean, I'm not suggesting we go mine out that next area like we have before. Yeah. But. That did take a while. But at least grab some of the stuff so that we've got, you know, some bones and ectoplasm. We'll bring it back with us. We're going to get 
plenty looting the, the enemies that we fight through here. Saying this this time around, we may as well take it all the way to the end. Well, yeah, we're looking for the looking for that damn chest. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. And I realized <laughs> apparently I'm a big dummy. Cause I made all that food, and you know what I didn't do? Eat it. I didn't eat any of it. <laughs> yeah. uh, for me, it's usually I make it and then I forget it. I forget to bring it. That's, that's usual part for the course. I was thinking another thing this game needs as well is that uh, the little item stand that uh, Valheim has. Um, we well, can any, we can put anything on it. It's 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 actually on their roadmap. Yeah. Yeah, I know the armor stands and stuff are. They definitely need uh, they need those. I don't really set this game apart. Well, like, some of the armor looks just really awesome. Yeah, it's like, I don't want it, I don't want to delete it or nothing. I want, I want to keep it. Put it, put it up for a display. Yeah. It said that all the armor is so different from but, each other, and there's so many versions. And... But right now, it just sits in a box, or you just go, well, that's taking up space, I need to get rid of it. Yeah. And then plus all, all the right. different... The different styles of weapons and stuff like that's just all all awesome. Got it. Got to display that stuff. I think that's good enough for the mining for now. Okay, let's uh, let's go find us some blocks. I'm checking these alcoves. Yeah, I've been keeping my eye real. Uh, just keeping an eye on that. Ah, yes, this area. And that's the spawners dealt with. All right, cool. out healing the damage. Nice. Yeah, because that, that freaking ability where every time I do a critical strike I get help. Wow, was that all of them? Yeah, they're, 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 they're gone. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> and I also get that critical strike by by the dodge attack skill as well. Right, so if I, if, I, if I dodge and then I swing my camera around and attack... I can, I can come right back and do a critical and then gain more health. <laughs> Get off of me! Alright, that got rid of them. <coughs> now we go through this way. Uh, more enemies up here. Oh, I wonder. I might need to do a more thorough search of both of these areas. Hold on, what's that? Which you bud? I see, I see, I see a thing. That's a grappling hook. Oh! Wait. Does that actually make it to where you can skip the... Uh, 
Uh, it wasn't the chest, but it's a archer chest. Yeah, upper body archer chest level 13. Just hanging out. That's all blocked in. That side. Ah, uh, okay. Nope, no secret doors. There's another area on the other side of the room. I wonder if you can get over that one too. Oh, well, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I gotta, t I gotta take the stone steps like a pleb. There's nothing over there. There's nothing up here. Uh, dang. All right, time to go find another one of those guys with the scythe. and there was a, a, there was a flying head skull in it. Oh, yes. Oh. Axe broke. Dragon sword time. I tend to leave the dragon sword for later because it's the, uh, uh, just because the axe is slightly better. Okay. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're both good. <laughs> Man, I love the fact that I can hover with my bow now. It has saved my behind so many times. Oh, a warrior helmet. I think that's what I'm wearing. Shall I? <laughs> oh, no, I'm wearing a night helmet, which is better. Much better, yes. They look, they look the same, but <laughs> similar anyway. up these staircases. Oh, it's where we're going to find the enemies. Oh, what is this? Found a sneaker it. Oh, no, I've been here. Oh, spiders everywhere! <laughs> oh, and a skeleton army. <laughs> Hello. Ah, yes. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, it, exactly wrap, it, it wraps around to here, yeah. Okay. But I haven't done a thorough investigation of it, so... <laughs> We've both seen that at the same time. Oh, archer, or wizard boots, sorry. Wizard boots and a sword. Okay. I'll wait till you make it down here, because uh, the scythe, scythe guy is behind this door. Uh. 
Oh, there's two of them. Ow. There's three of them. There's three of them. <laughs> oh, goodness. I got two on me. Alright, one's done. He smacked me hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went to go after the, the one that was uh, chasing you, and then two more just surrounded me. I'm like, well, I'm here now. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I, have to, I have to fight these first. Well, I, I jumped back up to where that uh, grappling hook was. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to go down that way because I haven't really explored that stuff down there. I so glided and I tapped a wall and it nearly killed me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Will you stop running around? No magic for you. There's one more under me. Oh, there he is. Come back here. <laughs> he's just doing, Say, doing circles. Yeah, as much as he's running around, I couldn't get a good beat on him. <laughs> is there any, um, uh, what you call them, it's the uh, handbills in this area? Uh, n not in this area. Uh, when we get through this room, though, which we're almost done with it. My two best weapons are about the toast. Sword's nearly broke, yeah. Okay. And the axe is gone, so I do have one more uh, as a as a backup. So. All right. I don't see any secret walls here. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that! You're in luck. Oh, hey, thanks. Okay. Does that ice protection function last? Thirty minutes. I'm gonna use one. It's real nice against those magic guys. Yep. All right. No secret walls in here. Nope. But hey, at least you're able to repair. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Now we go smack the button, and I can't go do the other button the way that I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Well, because I want to check the other end to see if the blocks are in it. Mm -hmm. I usually uh, bypass the puzzles. Ah. Uh, because the you're missing. you got this <laughs> got this spot here with the button. Well. I can fly over to the other button from here. Ah. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm at the other button. So I'm just yeah. gonna I'm just gonna go through here in reverse. Okay, so how do we get to it normally? Downstairs. Oh, that's where we were earlier. Down yep. There. Go away, bats. Is that all of them? Yep, I think that was all the bats.
All right, so that's got that going on in there. Don't see anything here. Nothing up here. Another on this side, another on that side. And you're going up now where I came from. Okay. I just want to see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ow! I got a flaming ball up to behind. <laughs> so did I. Yep. I gotta go hit the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. See anything in here? Oh, you got a skeleton running after you. What's up? <laughs> Hello there, buddy. secret doors. There's a, uh, another repair thing. <laughs> also looking up at the ceiling and stuff. If there's any hidden. Let's see this room. Oh, this room is... Okay. Well, it could be in this room. I've never done a thorough search of this room.
I uh, got most of them. Here comes some more. No way in there. Okay. What's up above that? glows right <laughs> in the dirt <laughs> oh oh this room okay this room holds possibilities there's a I'm pretty certain I'm giving this room a thorough search but uh we have a lot of these jumps to grab and a lot of enemies. Okay. That's a mighty big room. Easy to mess stuff in here. <laughs> yep. A lot of dark spots. Be rats. And they hit hard. Mm. A lot of plants too down there. Oh yes. <laughs> just like how many over there? Four, five, six, just that small little spot.
bone channel what what that is <laughs> it's a spell oh okay Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of them. those die in one hit. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I shot my flare arrow in that spot, and for a second there, it looked like it could have been an alcove that might have a hidden door, but it doesn't. Um. You got rats. Oh, I haven't been up here before. I don't think. Meh. He gave me a whole bunch of eh. Sleep up. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we got two more barrier things to find. Going inside these mouse holes. Well, there's one full of spiders and one full of bats. Which I don't think we've hit yet. <laughs> I love that the rat hits me, takes my takes my health, I hit him back, get that one hit and gain my health back. <laughs> there you go. Like give me Oh, 
this is the one with the bats. Alright, that'll be the last one. Oh man, those bats, they have the detail on those things. Holy crap. My camera got pushed away from the wall. Uh huh. <laughs> and into the bat's face, and the detail. So good. I love it. They did a really good job on this. So it looks like you already got that chest. Oh, oh, this chest hasn't been grabbed. It's still glowy. Freaking bats. Like crap, how high does this go? <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, oh yeah, it goes up a little ways. That's galore. Alright, so that one's got. Ooh, nearly died. I slept. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> slipped up the ledge. Fall all the way to the bottom. So you've already been over here. All right. Nothing there. Nope. Nope. Listen to the bat the rat scream. <laughs> no, I am not seeing anything. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it easier. What's that? It is found in a silver chest in a room shortly before the hollow Cyclops. Oh. Okay. So, like, you know what? Let's just make this easy on ourselves. So it's been an hour searching a massive room. So it's in the room shortly before the, the Cyclops? Okay. It doesn't say specifically what room, but it does say shortly before it. So yeah, well, that, that narrows it down for me. Alright. Did we get all the things we need to get? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got the last one. Alright, where do we go then? Are you over by it? Yep, I'm in the next respawn room. You gotta do a little bit of parkour to get to here. there first. Yep. Up to that level. <laughs> Alright, so here, follow me. Ready? Yeah. Forget mud. Oh, more rats. I hear them.
check your boots. Yeah, I did lose my some of my bonuses. Alright, so with your little ability, you're going to grab their attention, I'll run up and destroy their... To the left is a whole bunch of summoners. Still got that one up above. All right, got one more. Cool. All right. I hear one. Have some extra to bring with us. Two ways to go. <laughs> yep. So through this door is just a chest, and we gotta go the other way. There you go. like that sword I'm gonna keep it <laughs> it looks interesting okay uh, I will let's see if you're close enough it's like I might give you some arrows if you want them Hear him. No, oh, he sounds like he's over here. I tried digging him out of the bones in case he was in there, but okay. That's enough digging for now.
Yeah, don't forget to loot these guys. Yeah. Time for the fun. What's that? You gotta steer while you slide. Ah, don't touch the me. don't touch the green. You gotta be careful jumping too because you see it's hanging off the ceiling. What's hanging off the ceiling? The green. Oh, that. Okay. Alright, uh, get myself some heals. Oh, you missed it. Hello, friends. <laughs> Just killed like ten of them in one swing. Nice. Ooh. I got my own batch of them up here. Yeah. Well, what the heck? An enemy spawned underneath me and shot me up into the air. You feel more uh, badass when you <laughs> swing and kill <coughs> many enemies in one swing. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we get the slide again. Have you looked behind these webbings? Watch out for the holes. No, I missed. What'd you miss? Uh, the anchor. Oh, there's an anchor up there. Yep. Uh, is this a room right before the cyclops set? It is not. Close. Are we close to? <laughs> We're about halfway. What? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they really packed the content, didn't they? Ow! Those are my knees. Yep. Come on down the stairs. There we go. 
Ah, you've been keeping them behind that wall so I can't shoot them. Oh, too cool. <laughs> I managed, to, I managed to help with a few of them. Because the sword is made of gold, it doesn't last very long. <laughs> Only just switched to it. Anything up here? Nope. Okay. Repair right here. Figure that was more important to you. That's the other thing when you're coming through here, you really kind of want to break these vases um, because these vases are where you get most of your uh, red marble from. Yeah. Fortunately, my inventory is very full. <laughs> Jam packed. Why'd you bring so much stuff with you? I didn't bring nothing with me. <laughs> <laughs> you just got full on its own. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete these sticks. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. I need to grab a quick smoke before we go into this room. It's got a bunch of enemies in it, and a lot of green stuff. It's, it's, this room is the one that's kind of a treacherous footing. You gotta watch where you're stepping when you're fighting, um, because yeah, you know, yeah. of course, the skeletons can run through the stuff and not be affected by it at all. Ain't gonna be a problem for me because half of the attacks you can't really, you can't really aim them. Sometimes so it just, it oh. just goes. <laughs> so yeah. Right, well, that's what I'm saying to, to keep an eye on your footing. I get to swinging, man. I get to swing. <coughs> I really get to swing. <laughs> All right, this upstairs area, we should give it a thorough check because I'm trying to remember. But I think the next room might be the Cyclops room. If I'm if I'm remembering correctly. But hey, you made it level 20, and you're probably halfway through level 20 now. Yeah, I'm over. Halfway. So, if nothing else, you can use it as a quick level up spot. Because it's got nothing but enemies. <coughs> of course, I don't think you get... Do you get experience for mining the ectoplasm? No. Okay. No, we discovered that last time. Right. I, I knew not for the bones. I wasn't 100% certain on the ectoplasm. Oh, man. Yeah, let's see this guy. This guy's insane. Which one? I'm watching a video. Oh. <laughs> 
he is he, he's going through the 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 halls here just through the area we're about to go through and he is just he just bypasses everything yep <laughs> and he runs incredibly fast I wonder how he's doing that I have no idea he is, but he's very fast though <laughs> he's also got the same uh, armor you have okay uh, I mean that's where it is okay it is in this room it's a decent distance down it okay yeah, it's after the slope. There's a slope section, then yep. you go left, and then there's another room to the left as well. Ah, uh, the one that I've always and ignored. And there's a door that you open. I know exactly where it is. Okay, oh, that was almost bad. Alright, I got range on these guys now. And he's dead. Yeah, I figured I'd let you go for it. <laughs> yeah, let the artillery go first. Yeah. If they get too close. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Touched the stuff. You did not, actually. I did. It was it was on me. Oh, to your right, to your right, to your right. I at least when they go to the slime, it does slow them down. Definitely need double jump for this room. <laughs> but yeah, he actually, he, the, that person actually beamed it through this room. <laughs> Just freaking going. Uh. Yeah, this is just a loot room, so I figured I'd let you. Snake spine wand. Of course, it's a wand. <laughs> it's always a wand. Anything fancy? No, oh, that, yeah, nothing fancy. He was trying to be sneaky. <laughs> yeah. I'll be a spooky, scary skeleton. Pop out. I don't think I need that slime right now. Here they come. Here comes a whole bunch. I'm waiting for them up here. <laughs> I'm not going down there. They can, they can come up here where it's safer. <laughs> Oh. oh! Ow! Ha! Where did he go? He's down here. Okay. He's dead. Mage is dead. Yeah. He was hovering above the green slime, so I couldn't do nothing. <laughs> I said to take care of the other people's. Is that all of them? Yeah. Yeah. See the perch that I claimed to keep them from killing me? <laughs> yeah, I can't jump, so. Yep.
Yep, then head to the left. Yep, and then... I think up here, left again, somewhere. I thought it'd be straight. Because... Maybe just straight, I'm not really sure. I don't remember how many lefts there was. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the... Here they come! Piece. Buddies. Yeah. Nope. I love being able to do that. Yeah. You had one spawn on you. That sounds like there's stuff behind that door. Yeah, this is this is the room. <laughs> there's the blocks. Yes. Man. Oh. Oh, fine. Just lock me in here. <laughs> you got the blocks. <laughs> Give me the blocks. I'll let you out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's try and loot this guy. <laughs> in the door hinge. <laughs> Unbelievable. The fact that every time I've gone through this place, that I haven't bothered coming down here. <laughs> well, because I opened up the next door and I saw that, okay, well, that's the way through, so that's just a loot area. Um, yeah. And since it's level 15, I've been playing a level 25 character. I was like, well, there's stuff in there that I'm going to want anyways. And so I, so I ignored it. I was thinking it was going to be something hidden, like, you know, if you didn't look up in this one specific hallway and see that you could go up there, <laughs> that it would be, or behind a hidden door somewhere. Yeah, I feel bad that, uh, I feel bad that I've ignored this room so many times. <laughs> All right, you ready to go get a Cyclops head to hang in your house? I'm going to my food buffs up. I also need to go get the wyvern too. Okay. I'm not one of them guys to hang in the house too. I, I have a uh, I have a room specifically. Oh, more scope. I have a specific room in my house that's going to be a trophy room. Okay. So I'm going to hang up heads. I'm going to get the, uh, the other stuff that comes out. to be able to display weapons and armor and stuff. That's where it's all, all going to go. It's going to be a nice little vault. Okay. Style room. Be pretty nice. All right. Here we go. All right. So this is the boss room, huh? This is the room right before the boss room. Oh. Oh, it's the prepare yourself room. Yes. I'm preparing. All right. Good. Ready? Let's do it. Because this is the boss room. Let's do it to it. Yes, it is. All right. You go to the right when you come up these stairs. That way we're not. That way we're not in each other's way. Okay. Both these. Both sides of the stairs go to the same place. But it's a tiny ledge, so I'll go up one ledge, you go up the other. Okay, what, what are we doing? <laughs> yep, go that way. Alright. You'll see a, yep, there you go. Alright, and then jump. And here we go.
Man, that's a big hammer. I can go between his legs and just hide. <laughs> and give me the knees. Watch out! Whoop. Hey, I took no damage. Nice. Hey. Damn. Oh, I'm inside of him. I'm stuck. <laughs> Help. Well, give me a second. <laughs> I'm a I'm a little occupied. I guess you're just gonna have to teleport out from inside of them. <laughs> Did you get the bow that he had left? Yeah, yeah. It's, my inventory was full. So. <coughs> it's junk. Yeah, he won't disappear. Uh, yeah. I'm... <laughs> Hold on. So your best thing just pull up the map and teleport out. Yeah, I'm gonna get an image. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what the wyvern does too. After you've killed him, if you stick around long enough, he just has the death noise over and over. Oh, I can't fast travel. Oh. Cannot fast travel while falling. Oh, while falling. Can you get to a spot where you're not falling? Uh. Maybe. Huh. Are you allowed to break the blocks in this room? I don't know. Hey, there you go. Hey. All right. <laughs> was good. Don't know what that did, but figure I'd use a pickaxe on him and see if that would get you out. That sure did. <coughs> oh, my graphics were having a field day there first. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I spawned in and there was almost no blocks or anything, just the ground. And it took it a second to fix itself. <laughs> awesome. You got yourself a chest over there at your house? Yeah. Okay. Because I figure you probably want to you probably want to drop off the head over there. Yeah. And then while and we get a get ahead of me uh, getting rid of my inventory. My apologies. I'll see myself on that. <laughs> Alright, uh, so the head. I think, that's, I think that's all I'm gonna put in here. Well, maybe the food. Put the food in there for now. For the moment. But. I'll drop off the rest of my stuff. Yeah, I will be more than happy to go and do the, uh, Wisp Wyvern because there's a lot of, uh, of the uh, the the fell um, that we get the shroud spores from, and I am heavily in need of shroud spores. So, do you need cores or cores? Okay. Cores, um, spores, liquid. I'm gonna drop off my inventory and then relog because the the every time I teleport now the graphics are the, all the blocks and everything's just gone. Ah, okay. <laughs> it takes a second to, for it to pop in, so something broke. Yeah, well, I mean, you stuck yourself inside of a cyclops, you know. <laughs> you fell on top of it. <laughs> I was just there, and you just went. I mean, you didn't even get consent. I mean, you you jumped right in there. So you jumped me, actually. Oh, and here, let me give this to you, just that you have it. Don't give me an achievement or anything, but uh, 
That was a uh, one yeah. of the, that was one of the weapons that I found. Yeah. Um, looks like you already got a legendary version of the silver shot bow, so I'm just gonna scrap it. Well, the silver shot bow that I've got is level 15. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the legendary that I've got is what I was gonna give to my other character and see how. Yeah, it... but... Exactly. Yep. That was my thought. Just like, uh, well. Uh-oh. What happened? What do you mean, what happened? Oh, okay. I thought everything went dark there for a second. Fade to black. You, you, you ran out of oxygen, man. Didn't you know you needed to have oxygen? Alright. Too, too many games like that, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. more bone arrows. Bone cool. Arrow. Oh, I should have given you the ectoplasm soup. It's minus 50 health, but it's plus 10% damage against hollow and 8% life leech uh, against hollow. I was actually doing pretty good, though. I think. Oh, absolutely. And and, and you kept... I don't know if I can say so you kept my, justify that. So you kept my rear end alive. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I don't know if I could justify that minus 50 health, though. Just, I rely on health so much. Yeah, but when you look at your character and you look at your attributes, uh, you know, I've got uh, 704 health. So minus 50 points of health. And, I mean, that's that's on my ranger. You're probably upwards of, like, over 1,000. So, minus 50 points of health to do extra damage against the hollow, going into the hollow halls, that Ectoplasm Soup is absolutely worth it. Oh, that's trash. Yeah. I don't know what you want to keep because your, 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 uh, equip, well, your equipment chest is full. Well, just find one of the empty chests and throw more stuff in them. Okay. Eventually, I'll get around to organizing these chests. <laughs> one of these two. Well, right now, right, right now, I'm still trying to fill it in with the rest of the chests, and then I was going to organize it after I finished filling it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that box is set aside for stuff from the Hollow. So uh, yeah, I just, I just, I just dropped it off. It just be <laughs> filled. Yep. Yeah, there is one thing that belongs in there that is not in there. There it is. These. You probably have. Yeah, usually, I just, I just do the shift R. So. Yeah, uh, but I just move something over to the hollow box. Uh, you want to go shift R on the hollow box again, so I can get those. Uh, so I can get those giant bones from you. Giant bones. Oh. Let's do that. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> it's like I'm lazy. All right, so I got eight, got eighteen giant bones now. Oh. Yeah, a box with other shroud cores and shroud spores in it. <coughs> well, because they all they all they all intermingle, and so that's why, like you know, it's. <coughs> yeah, but it's so nice to have it all in one spot. Oh so, yeah, yeah, no, no, I agree. Okay. Yeah, I'm in good shape. Take some bandages. Um, go talk to. Don't take the bandages out of there, Tundra. Go talk to the huntress and have her make you a couple stacks of the uh, clean bandages. I've got plenty of material for it. Okay. They they work they work a, they work so much better than the regular bandages. You get so many more hit points out of it. <laughs> oh, and let me throw these into a magic chest. I think you have a uh, you have a potions and spells chest somewhere, don't you? Ah, uh, yes. 
that was over here. Unless you moved it. Yep. I just haven't moved the spells. The spells were... Oh, spells are in that chest. This chest is where I'm sticking this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm still working on replacing some of the chests inside here. Um, yeah, like this table right here in the chairs. This is stuff that I got from the hollow. Yeah. Doesn't it look nice? Yeah. It looks nice. <laughs> it doesn't. It, it, that's gonna be hard to find a setting that fits that stuff. That that's Other why. I, in here. That's, that's why I gave this room to look at it. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to put that in a house unless you're building some kind of evil mansion looking thing. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm just glad they didn't have a sense of humor and give us also toiletries with the skull motif where you know you, you make the toilet and the and the bowl is like the skull, so you're just pooping into somebody's head, you know. Yeah. Oh, what was it? There was a there was a game I was having a conversation with a friend that was almost exactly like that. <laughs> so I can't remember those years <coughs> ago, but yeah. I know you have a you have a raw meat chest over here somewhere. Yes, I do. Just gonna find it. There it is. There's a <laughs> there's a random prayer of the flame skull in here. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. You know what I think happens when it, when you find like one item out of place on a chest? I think is what people try to drag from their inventory, and they end up dragging over. Yeah. Item, and it swaps places with it. So. All right. Well, give me a second to go grab a smoke, and uh, then we'll go get you your wisp vibrin head. Because to be perfectly honest, I need three more of the wisp vibrin heads, anyways. Now you got one here on the wall. Yeah, but I can't. I can't reclaim that one. Oh, <coughs> okay. It's a permanent. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. But the thing is, is that you don't get the bronze version of the trophy until after you've created the first trophy. Just like the Cyclops head. Now I can make a bronze version of it. Yeah. And I want to put the bronze with Spyburn on the outside of this building. Do you think I'd be able to kill the Wisp Wyvern by myself? I think that'd be possible. Sure. Because then what I could do is I could just, you know, go into my game, kill it, reload the game, kill it, reload the game, kill it, and then we don't have to wait the out the timer. Yeah, time. yeah. Um, I mean, it'd still be... I think it'd still be a challenging fight solo as a, as a melee character. Um, mm -hmm. Ranged, um, because... There's a there's a specific moment when you, if you watch the uh, Wisp Wyvern, it'll do that that intake of breath when it's getting ready to use its big breath weapon. If I shoot it in the yeah. mouth when that's happening, it stuns the thing for like five seconds, and all your hits are massive critical damage to it. Yeah. But yeah, I figured it'd be pretty annoying for you to have to relog each time. <laughs> well, we go to kill it like like me. We kill it and then get the head and then reload the game and then you have to rejoin and then we kill it. Yeah, I don't know if that'd be extremely annoying to you or not? <laughs> eh, it'd be time consuming. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why I was like, well, eh, maybe that, we do it. Uh, well, that and I'm thinking about how it would look on so, stream, you know, because looking on yeah, it on maybe, stream, you know. Yeah. That's why I was like, well, maybe I could kill it by myself and take it out but on the flip side we can go kill the one that's probably respawned here by now um, and then later on off screen you know you can do that or I can do it with you because I, mean, I know I can take the thing out solo when I fought it earlier um, to get the head to be able to hang on the wall it took me uh, 30 seconds to take it down. 
And I died. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the worst part. And I died. Yeah, they, uh, they definitely got some interesting attacks that can one-shot even the most tankiest of characters sometimes. Well, my problem was that I thought I got myself in a safe spot. And what I didn't realize is that his breath weapon will go through the floors and the walls. <laughs> they can hide. Uh, That's funny. And doing it together with you as melee and me as ranged works out really, really well because I can stay on my perch and you'll jump down there and that'll get it to come out. Um, otherwise, I have to jump down there and then I'm right in the mix with the thing. Find that chest. But let me. Alright, so now there's four experience scrolls for your other character. Okay. I, it doesn't It doesn't give hardly any experience. Those scrolls are great for somebody that's like level one, level two. <laughs> Still. It's better than. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it gives a little bit. I'm not going to complain. Don't get me wrong. Every penny. <laughs> it's every penny. So yeah, I only use a thousand bone arrows on that uh, on that uh, hollows hall. Do you have a bunch of uh, shred liquid at your server? I don't. I, that that's one of the things that I'm out of. Let's see what I got going on over here. I know I've been. Oh, I don't have much either. <laughs> yeah, shroud shroud liquid and shroud spores is two of the big things I need to. Just go do the stuff. Do the stuff for the things. Yep. Just make sure. So I know I collected a bunch at some point, but I yep. think I turned it all into shroud cores. Oh my goodness, 21 likes. Dude, you guys are awesome. 21 likes on the stream. That's fantastic. Graham, we've also been running for seven hours. <laughs> yeah, you've been running a while. Well, we're going to get a lot of different things done. Five hours before I even got on there. Well, you know, I set it for two o'clock because I, you know, I knew you and I talked about possibly going to do stuff on your save and whatnot. Um, and I had Valk here and we went and did the uh, Cyclops thing. Now you and I went and did the Cyclops thing. So the streams watched me take down the Cyclops three times now. <laughs> nice. You know, of course, the first time they watched me solo the thing. Uh, but then uh, Doomy told me, she hasn't told me what it is that I'm fighting, but she told me she had her level 25 in there and went and did the third hall where everything is level 20. Mm -hmm. And the final boss inside of it, it did something and it one-shotted her. And she ran back into the fight, and it one-shot at her again. She ran back into the fight, and it one-shot at her again. <laughs> and finally she's like, screw it, I'm going to wait till I have a friend. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely geared it towards uh, playing with the other people. I can definitely see this game just being very challenging. So, you let me know when you're ready. Where's all your shroud liquid? It's scattered between a couple of spots. <laughs> okay. No, but I could, of course, I can just access it. To... Yeah, I've still got I've still got elixir wells to go and hit that I haven't done yet. I've got some uh, shroud roots that I haven't hit yet. Um. So, yeah, I've still got a few question marks floating around on my screen. Uh, heck, I've actually got question marks that are still uh, hanging out in the area where we're going to go for the... Uh... Oh, yeah, and get this. I found a shroud root inside of uh, Pike's Mead Reach that neither one of us have gotten yet. Because, you know, we found the one that we took out. I found another one. Yeah. Because your shroud liquid situation, I was only able to get you five cores. Okay. So that's enough for one box. 
Yeah, I have uh, I have a bunch of shroud spores, but the the liquid I did not have any of hardly. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean the liquid's easy for so, me. The liquid is really easy to farm. So now you have 10 cores and 263 spores. Oh, nice, dude. Thank you. And I have I have 100 more back on my save still. <laughs> yeah, well, hold on to them. Uh, I went, yeah, I went and uh, when I was doing all that side questing stuff, a lot of that was in the shroud. So I was just having to take out tons of enemies and bosses. And awesome. Yeah. All so, right. Well, let's sleep for a second. Do you have another bed here somewhere? Uh, pick somebody's house. <laughs> yeah, I'll go dirty up their bed with my yeah. armor. Yeah, go. <laughs> it's funny that you don't sleep. take off your armor. <laughs> go, 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 go sleep in Valk's bed. Uh, well, I pick somebody's house. I don't know whose it is, but. Yep, that's Valk's house. Okay, let's see. Uh, his house actually has a bathroom in it. Where is his bed? Oh, that's what that is. Hey, you've got a little uh, side table in your bed, too. Yep. Get some interesting stuff. Oh, it's morning now. <laughs> yeah. You know what this game reminds me of, though, seeing all these empty houses and stuff, like barely any furniture? It reminds me of, like, when you play The Sims and you build too big of a house and you don't know how to fill it. Hey, yep. <laughs> It's got all these empty rooms or well rooms that got very little in it. Like I've I've had my plan on how I was gonna fill my rooms on my house, but I keep on unlocking more furniture and then I'm like, oh wait, I like this stuff too. And so <laughs> so now I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna wait until I find all the stuff and then I'm gonna start, you know, designing my house and getting all the furniture and everything in it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh easy route. Yeah, I want the closest spawn point. I don't remember exactly where it's at. That was not good with maps. Hang on, hang on. Wait, this might not be the right spot. Let me double check something. That may be the closest, but may not be the best. Get over the shroud. Awesome. I, I know the castle's in this area, I just don't remember where. Oh, the castle that we're trying to go to, it's in this area right here. Is the Wisp Wyvern over there? Yep. Yep, that's its home. Oh, duh. <laughs> Sounds good. Yep, because I can float over to this. And then we can... literally going back to where you were. And then... <laughs> Mark it again. Yeah, but I'm gonna be able to fly over a lot of that stuff. I do recommend picking up updraft uh, with some of your points. Maybe once I've gotten what I want first. <laughs> no, I understand. So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta build up my character first. Yep. Ah, oh, almost. I'm gonna have to go around. Let 
They want to go around. Oh, all right. Guess we're gonna go through here. Grab all their spores while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to head east. Pike me's reach. Yep, this is the spot I was looking for. Alright, that's the shroud route that you and I did together. Yeah, a yeah, big old check mark on it. That's the one with the boss. <laughs> yep. Dude. Ow! He's dead. Ow. Ah, a guy with a shield, that's who hit me. And the enemies just uh, Archer threw his little bomb thing at me and hit himself with it. Ah. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, there's a boss uh, down here. There you are. Hello, buddy. I came through a different route last time. Oh, because I came through the east side. Yep. Okay. Where are you? I'm looking for you. Okay, you're way over there. And that'll be another shroud core. And a Phil Commander bow. Oh yeah, I loved that thing when I first got oh, got it. Oh my goodness. I flew too far. Got too close to the sun. <laughs> Here we are. This is where we want to be. And I'd say I would wait for you over here, but I'm in the shrouds, so I need to find a safe plus place to hang out at. Here we go. Alright. I'll wait here where I'm at so that you can catch up to me. <laughs> Fighting the pants here right now. What is that? 
Oh, that's her kettle. Oh man, that would have made getting the kettle so much easier. It's coming right here. So literally where the kettle was, <coughs> it's right next to a shroud root that neither one of us have gotten. Hmm. See where Tundra is. Oh, he's still a ways away. I said I was fighting a banshee. Yeah. Uh, well, they drop cores. Oh yeah, yeah. But you're actually through an area that you're actually in an area that's in a fog of war for me. Oh. I haven't even been there. And as a matter of fact, you're heading up towards the question mark, which has probably got a shroud root in it. Definitely. Gave you a ping for the direction. Ah, right there. Oh, yeah. Hello. How close do you have to be for those? I have no idea. Go ahead and chop it down. Stupid archers. Uh, dang it. Okay, you know what? I'm go I'm going. You, you, you archers can just do your thing. I'm going this way. Oh, we've already taken it out. I haven't touched that one. That one's not on my oh. list. Okay. Oh, I think I remember this one. Nope, dangerous. That's close. It's surrounded by red. <laughs> <laughs> like completely it's a little it's an island right in the middle oh little gotta do a little special parkour to get into it got it nope dead <laughs> I, I dipped my toe in by accident ah uh. yeah damn it uh, I think I remember this area now <laughs> see that's one that I haven't done it's a pain in the butt, too, because it's just the area surrounding it is just plagued with holes and edges. <laughs> so it's very dangerous. Lots of bugs. As soon as I touch it, man, there's there's almost no no getting out of there. Timer goes from nearly full to empty. <laughs> there's something over here that's the entrance While waiting for you, I'm checking out a question mark. Uh, okay. I'll have to respond then. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were waiting for me to come pick you up. Ah, I'm stuck. Wait for my timer. Uh. Oh, 
Those are my ankles. <laughs> ankles. That is a. <coughs> that is a lot of bugs. <laughs> All the bugs. Oh! I think that's what the question mark was. There was a gold treasure chest over here. Yeah. Oh, nope. That wasn't the question mark. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's a shroud root. Another one. Oh! Oh! Alright, my death bag is 800 meters that way. <laughs> oh no. What happened there? The other side of uh, a lot of red. Why does it say my body so far away? Oh no, my tombstone is only 53 meters away. Yours is 763 meters away. Yeah, that's also on their roadmap too. I was saying they were going to fix the grave uh, situation by putting names on them. It's always confusing, especially when you die next to your partner, <laughs> next to your friend, and you're just like, "Okay, I think this is my tombstone." <laughs> did you get a skill? Where... Did Did you get a skill point? No. No. Okay. Well, that answers that question, then, horse. So I'm not going to glide again like I just did, because that's what killed me, is the roll. Oh, I got the guard of the north gloves. <laughs> Almost got the full set now. Very nice. Well, there's an achievement for it. Yeah. Oops. All right. Now, where did it put my body? Damn, there's no... How? How did I do this last time? I don't remember. I think I just got lucky. Okay. okay. I can hear... I can hear my gravestone. Yep, that's what killed me. Again. Damn it! I hate this area because you have to. The double jump doesn't give you enough distance. Uh, okay. To, over to where you need to go, so you have to glide. Then and the roll when you land where you need to land, the roll is what kills you. Ah. <laughs> uh. You just you just roll off the the edge ever so slightly. Ah, uh, here we go again. <sighs> I'm gonna get that damn shroud root, damn it. Alright, so there's three shroud roots. Okay, it took so I lose all my buffs and then my stamina is just. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.
that's a useless room. Okay. up there. That's a lot of red. Oh my gosh, I survived. It's uh. <laughs> both my bodies in almost the exact same spot. <laughs> okay, now I can get up there finally. That's a lot of them. Right over there. <laughs> I'm in a corner. And then I'm hearing bugs. Goodness. All right, backpack. Drink one of these. Oh yeah, I've been in this room before. <laughs> Alright, can't go through that door. I'm trying. Ah, almost. Let's go for a little bit higher. Much undead.
Guard of the North chest plate. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and that completed that. Or did it? Nope. Okay. Ow. Yep, it's right inside there. Oh no, I've been here. Because hell, I'm damn near at the spot where we go bite the wyvern. <laughs> no, no, I was waiting for you. Oh, and I heard you said, "Oh, he's dead." I'm like, "Okay, well, I guess you got him already." But cool. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can. Oh yeah. That was a that was a battle and a half, just not even with an enemy. <laughs> yep, yep. No, I I hear you. Oh yeah, I love them trees. Love them Play-Doh trees. I'm literally sitting right on top of it. Is there something else supposed to be doing here? Okay. Imperial Guardians. Oh, I went completely the wrong way. Damn it. I guess I'm approaching it from the south then. <laughs> oh! Hello! That's not a door. Okay. Alright, I'm up out of the 
Shroud. Hey, I'm getting close. Finally made it here. <laughs> All right. I, I gotta take a quick second. And go hit the head. Yeah, well, uh, get up to you anyway. Let me put myself in a safe place first. I'm at the shanty shacks. Okay. All right. With all the bugs. I'll be right back. Definitely putting an altar over here <laughs> in my game. Because uh, getting over to this area is such a pain. There's no teleport spots anywhere nearby. See something red and glowing? A book. Oh, this is the flame sanctum. I need to go. I can't go that way. I guess gotta go around it. Need ooh, hello red. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured it was echoing going home because I just I, I put my headset down, which meant that the uh, speakers from the headset were hitting the microphone on the headset. Also, I was talking in. in <laughs> yeah, you're you're giving double talk. I'm having a hard time finding a way up to you. <laughs> I'm right next to the flame sanctum. I was like, there's no way up from here. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Let's see where you are. You're over there? Okay. Probably back over to this side. Oh, all the red. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> yeah, I was over here and I was just like, cannot find a way to get up there. You found something. I found a hill. I could climb up. Okay. Past the tower.
Oh, no. Oh. I'm in the Imperial Gardens now. <laughs> That's not the way to go. Definitely not the way to go. Oh. There's a shroud right here. Sorry, I thought you were following me. Well, you see, what happened was... <laughs> oh, wow. You're way back there. Yeah, I gotta go around again. This this place is annoying to navigate. See, I, I learned my landmarks so that I could. I've only been here once before. <laughs> this is my second time here, so I don't have the lay of the land yet. See, so I figure out where you are. You are east okay. of me. Okay. Alright, I see you. Yeah, I'm good. Took a better way this time that I didn't uh, make the same mistakes again. Oh. Oh, where is I she? Hear benches. Oh, they're all downstairs. I can ignore them. <laughs> you can hear all the bugs, too. <laughs> you followed me all the way up here? What the heck? <laughs> I don't even know how they got, they found me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ow. Man, once they had a taste of Tundra. Because oh, yeah. I taste pretty good. All right, yeah. damn time. All right. Woo! What, an hour? We get to this in the dark. Hey, he's cool in the dark, so. There he is. Oh, no, 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 no. He's out of position for me. Uh, moving back in. There we go. Got him. Go hit him. He's finished. Yeah. Well, 21. Oh, cut again. Did you get stuck in the boss again? Jeez. Yep, and this time I don't think I'm getting out of this one. <laughs> Hang on. Like I am fully immersed into the ground. <laughs> I uh, this didn't happen on my game. <laughs> I'll blame it on the server. Hopefully you looted it. I did. Okay. Yep. I've got another commander's ring. Yep. Alright, sweet. <laughs> but now you got yourself another head.
Oh, wow. I didn't even have any of my food buffs on. Or arrested bonus. <laughs> yeah, it took so damn long to get over there. Well, that and I died. because So when you die, you, know, oh, you lose your arrested bonus, you lose your food bonuses. You lose everything. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Well done, sir. <laughs> After all of that. <laughs> so, you ready to go do the next interesting thing? Uh, it depends on what it is, I suppose. Nomad Highlands. Check out the hollow hall in it. I think I'd rather be the level that I that you are <laughs> first. I say the hollow hall is level twenty. Right, but you're you're level twenty five. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I want to check out the entrance of it and see what we get. See what we're looking at. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if you want to go check it out with me, so I thought I'd, thought I'd offer. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna work on what I wanted to do. Okay. I'm gonna lock you in the warehouse. All right. Sounds good. How many arrows do we have? Oh, I need to go make more arrows. All right, now I've got uh, I've got three heads I can put on mounts now. Oh, jeez, guard of the north equipment is awesome as long as you're not going in the shroud. Mm. To the lower shroud time. Every single piece of equipment lowers your shroud time by an amount. Oof. And, and some are reducing it by minutes. Oh, man. That's all you have is minutes. So where do I go to put these on mounts? Which, which dude? It's a, the carpenter. Uh, no, you gotta go talk to, uh, the Huntress. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'd love that she get a key every time as well. Hey, you know, that kind of, kind of works out on the server because that means that everybody can have a key. <laughs> yeah. I've got two of them sitting in the in a chest. Now that's where the places that I've been, you know, really struggling is because for nails, you know, the only thing you make metal nails with is with metal scrap. Mm -hmm. So I've been starting to go out to areas where I'm fighting the things that drop metal scrap, the scavengers. Um, just because, well, I need scrap. 
Yeah. Yeah, and if I'm comparing the other dungeons to what I've done so far, I don't have nearly enough arrows. <laughs> You said you're only going to take a look. I feel like you're going to try and run through it. No, no, no. <laughs> not all the way to the end. Definitely not. But, I mean, I use... Um, so, so this is the whole reason for mining up the bones. For each stack of 500 arrows, I use up 250 bones. So 500, so 500 bones gives me 1,000 arrows. But then we need the ectoplasm gems. Um, he can actually make the skull summoning vessels, but those require metal scraps. Uh -huh. And if you want to make the bone channel spell. Then you got his chairs, his illumination, all that stuff that all requires ectoplasm gems. Oh, but I was going to be making this. I wanted one of these. You will return. Because this... Goes right there. But then how do I put stuff in the slots? So that's what I want to do. I want to be able to... Hmm? Nope. I don't know. <laughs> so I mean, if you walked up to it and hit E or something, but there's no E option. Uh, right. Other than to pick it up. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way to put stuff into the slots. I mean, I, I could put little things like, uh, you know, I could talk to this guy and say, all right, make me some books. Yeah, I mean, I can get the clutter to put in there, I think. So, like, I can make one of those. And those. Well, at least it looks like it's got something in it now. Okay. <clears throat> Definitely gonna need to eat some food. All right, let's do our compare and contrast. Constitution plus one dexterity. File constitution intelligence. Hmm. Oh, that nitrate should be finished now. This was making the nitrate. There we go. All right, lady. Here we go. Let's get the rest of this. That should be plenty. Oh, 
That way we can finish this field. Pretty. Can't get my heads. Sweet. for that refined wood I use that as the flooring for the upper stair or for the upper floor because I want it to look like planks makes sense Go and I saw a spot over here. Hopefully that's just a discoloration. <laughs> All right. My main fields are all now fertilized farm soil. I got I got so much decorating to do. <laughs> yeah, including your own. Mm -hmm. Your own house. I think you just need to buckle down and do it one of these times. Well, I'm um, uh, the reason I'm wanting to go do the the Howard Halls and still trying to hit all the question marks is I'm wanting to make sure I've found all the buildables before I start really dumping yeah. stuff out there. Well, I mean, from the Howard Halls you have. There isn't anymore. Just the two. Uh, no, I was talking about the furniture. There's there's still crafting recipes to get from the hollowed halls. Because one of the one of the quests I have is called Hidden Crafting Recipes. Find all crafting recipes in the hollow halls. Yeah. My game has that too. I think you, you start out with that. And you have to, you I'll have say, to complete all three. But we haven't even gone into the first hollow hall. Oh, there's four. Yeah. There's four hollow halls. Okay. One for one for each zone. Yeah. The first one everything's level ten, the second one everything's level fifteen, third one everything's level twenty, and the fourth one everything's level twenty five. 
And the reason I'm so reluctant with mine is because it's like I've, I've kind of put <clears> my <throat> game up to it as well. Kind of, not, maybe not caught up to where you are. But no, but what I'll say is that it goes through. I'd like to go through the first one since I, I haven't. Exactly. Well, that's that's what I was saying.